welcome. Never fear. Okay, I, re I really need to readjust the the mic. <laughs> Just another day in the life of a manager. I'll readjust the mic so it's like not in the camera in a second, but hello. Dark side and lights, what's going on? Today, um, I believe I did see what was in bullying about the Nintendo thing. I believe. Manager coming through. Manager coming through. Yeah, I know they're called different things for a reason. My brain usually just kind of like lumps them into the same category, though. I mean, I guess it depends. Like, thank you for the good luck. Also, hello as well, Lena. I actually saw a Birmingham TikTok, like, just before I went live. It was the last TikTok I saw before I went live. And there's, like, this thing that you can do called, like, Mystery Flight, where, like, you literally don't know where you're being flung to. And then they reveal it. And then you get, like, the reaction from everybody on the plane. So it was, like, Turkey or something, right? And, and, then, and then the skit appears where it's, like, you're arriving in Birmingham, and then, then everyone was like, bro, what the fuck? Okay, this seems... There we go. Now you can't see the mic. I, like, slightly turned down my volume on my thing yesterday and then turned it back up, but I don't know if I turned it up enough to, like, be the same volume as last stream, so it might be slightly lower, but, like... I don't know. Yeah, you're referring to, uh, Cartwheel Creek, um... Yeah, it's, um... It makes it, like, a million times easier. It's just that it, it's a lot of initial time loss, but, like... If it makes the difference between, like, being able to actually, like, play the game and not, then obviously it's pretty worth it, uh, for, like, beginners and stuff. Damage this Neptune. Uh, just get on my level, bruv. Get on my level, honestly, Darkseid. Welcome. I always get so pissed off whenever I get hit in Neptune. I wonder how many times I've, like, attempted Neptune. It's like, that, that's gotta be... Because, like... Yeah, I don't get a lot of runs, like, going, but, like, I also, like, used to highlight, like, dead no-pause storage runs. There's all the cheapest send attempts and all the completed runs. Especially, usually if a run dies in, like, game, I usually finish it, unless it's, like, really bad. So I've probably beaten Neptune, like, a lot. But, I, but I'd like to know, like, actually how much, because, like, it might be, because, like, I also practice it, so it should be four digits. The number of times I've been, yeah, it should be four digits. But I'm not, like, 100% sure, so I'm, like... I kind of, like, bummed out. I have, like, no way to figure that out. It's, like... It's, like, how I can't ever calculate, like, how many hours I actually have in Minecraft, for example. Like, I want to know... How many Neptunes have I done in, <laughs> in movie? It's, like... Bitches to attend to. Just another day in the life of yeah, well, I'm waiting until I get a bag first. All right, I'm, I'm focusing. While you're focusing on the hose, I'm focusing on the bag. Manager coming through. 
Dollar dollar signs. See what um, hello, Cobden. I hope you are having a very good Friends Day Wednesday, because I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, it's definitely Wednesday Day. And, uh, also, thank you for the good luck. Last stream was, like, really fun. I really liked last stream. Um, like, the run died, but it was some it was to something that was, like, completely my fault. Plus, like, the run wasn't even good anyway. And it kind of felt nice to just get a run that far. And... It carried me to a comfortable, like, playing Ghost Jelly afterwards, like, I, there was a good amount of time left for Ghost Jelly, and Ghost Jelly was good, and, like, yeah, we were just, but even, like, before that, we were just, like, chatting, you know, just fucking memeing, talking, and it was pretty good. I never, like, regret a stream, obviously, but yeah, I, I just mean, like, the last one in particular was, like, especially cool. Because, like, I really was not bothered that, like, the run died. It was just, like, chill. Speedrunning is, yeah, like, to get something consistent, you pretty much, you, you gotta, like, understand it, yeah. Um, Society of Non-Steam Games had trackable total playtime. Yeah. True as fuck. Um, also, that's, that's good, Cotton. Um, it's, like, slowly beginning to get slightly warmer here, so I'm a little concerned. Adventure. You know what's probably gonna happen again? I'm probably not gonna buy air conditioning. I'm just gonna suffer again this summer. And I was like, oh my god, I should have bought air conditioning, but I can't do it now because then I won't, like, it'd be cheaper if I wait until the winter. And then by the time it's winter, I'm like, oh, well, the summer wasn't that bad. I don't need air conditioning. And then, and then it just rinse and repeat. Suffer, forget about suffering. Don't fix problem. That's like... Yeah. Manager coming through. Is the room spinning or is it just me? This is a job for a manager. That kind of is crazy. They you got a coincidence like that, but I mean that's cool they did uh, find one in the end. Hey. I watch you for your personality. Thank you, Arkham. VTubers when the tits cover up like 40% of the screen. <laughs> I really don't dunk on VTubers that much. Like, I've, I've defended them like multiple times. But like... I do think a lot of the appeal of, like, VTubers for the viewer is, like, big tits plus, like, woman saying, like, guy things, like, calling herself, like, a giga chat or whatever, and calling the chat cucks, and saying, like, these nuts in 21, and then that's, like, mostly the appeal. Oh my god, the woman gets memes, she said these nuts. And it's pretty effective, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's pretty effective. Heat stroke. You know, Cotton, you were looking for videos to make. I survived the summer without air conditioning challenge. No ice packs. No taking clothes off. No cold showers. <laughs> Impossible edition. <laughs> You know, really good video idea until you get to, like, day 11, and then you just fucking die. Because you're dead. <laughs> it's like, alright guys, it's like fucking 120 Fahrenheit, bro, but... 
at, at 1 a.m., but I'm gonna go to sleep now with my clothes on and wearing a jacket, if anything. No windows open challenge, extreme edition. And then just don't wake up. And then you'll be famous because you're known as the stupid guy who did something stupid for YouTube fame and then died. Like a mouse. I don't dunk on VTubers because, like, I don't really, like... Th the fan base is incredibly degen, but, like, I don't think, like... I think the VTuber, like... I think the people themselves, like, the actual streamers seem, like, fine. Like, I feel bad for them whenever it... Because, like, obviously they have, like, an agency or whatever. Like, so an agency, like, you know, swoops them up while they're up and coming. And then, like, obviously the promise, like, all this shit, but, like, all the time, you just hear about, like, oh, I guess what the big fucking company did this time. But it, it's always, like, some stupid shit. Like, they have, like, total control over you as well. But, yeah, I mean... It, it's just, like, the fan base, I think, it like, sucks. How the fuck did I bonk, bro? I wish... Okay, no, 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 hold on, right? I, like, approached the rock at an angle where, like, it should have bonked, and then it didn't, and I carried on hugging it, and then I touched, like, then the other, the other edge of the rock, and then I bonked when it was, like, a less, like, direct, like, angle. Like, how did I bonk off that? I don't even get it, bro. Anyway, I wish I was a girl VTuber, so I could be, like, 21. I get, like, 5,000 views. 21? <laughs> you stupid. Stupid. Nah, nah. <laughs> Loudly burps over and over. It sounds like me. For real. Yeah, not interested doesn't fucking work most of the time, I've noticed. Like, especially on YouTube Shorts in particular. I, I just, like, they come back like five minutes later. It's just like, this shit doesn't work. Like, when you, whenever you select that option, YouTube's like, Oh, I get it, you don't want to see them for five minutes. Like, no, I, I want to see them never. With the Divine Intervention. True as fuck. Plankton is oh yeah, I've started working on my video again, by the way. Oh, well, I j I j all I did was, um, I redid some lines that needed to be redone. Um, and I did, like, two paragraphs, because, I, I don't know, I was just like, oh, I, sh I should do, like, something. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. But, like, I should actually, like, get back on that shit. Now that I'm no longer like, um, I can't speak two words after stream or else it'll permanently ruin my throat. I'll just do some lines after stream. If I have time, because I'm not sh like, I already showered earlier, so I actually don't need to shower tonight. I, I don't like showering in the mornings, but I, I forgot to shower last night, and I wanted to actually full- I actually- I say fixed. I, I really patched up my sleep schedule a bit before, because I didn't shower. I really I realized how late it was, and I was like, dude, I need, like, if I shower as well, not only will I go, go to sleep later, like, I'll literally just, like- It'll just wake me up more, so then I'll go to, like, eat, sleep even later on top of that. So I was just like, fuck it, dude, I'll, I'll... If I go to sleep now, I'll wake up earlier tomorrow, and then I can just shower tomorrow in the in the morning, or in the early afternoon. And I did. And that led to me having, like, no free time today, but after stream, I'll have plenty more. After stream, all I gotta do is eat if I'm even hungry. Um... And then brush my teeth, and then, yeah, I'm good after that. So I can do lines until my parents, like, go to bed, which is usually, like, 11.20, 11.30. 
So I, I could have, like, even if I'm taking my time, I could easily have, like, 40 minutes to do lines. Like, I could be pretty fucking productive. Although I still, I, I forgot how actually horrible it is to, like, read out my lines because, like, the mic pops all the fucking time. I, I, I had to, like, decrease my volume, and it still was not enough, man. Like, I had to redo a line that had hypno stream in it multiple times because the heh sound kept popping. How was that even fucking possible, bro? The peas make sense. How was the heh? How was I causing a pop? I kept doing it, too. And, oh my god, I had to do this line about, like... Like, I, I was just ranting about how abysmal Cactus is, right? And then I compared it to Chomper. I said, you know, at least Chomper, like, guarantees a kill on a lot of zombies. I had to literally do that line. Like, I even deleted a bunch of attempts before exporting them. But, like, sometimes you can't hear a pop until you export it. Bring it into, into Premiere and then, like, up it by, like, four decibels. But, like... Yeah, no, even the ones I export... I had to export that line fucking literally four times. Without even factoring the bonus takes I deleted because I caught in the moment. Four times I exported that fucking line. Because, because... Like... I, I don't need... Oh yeah, kill. Kill, kill? The word kill was popping all the time. It, it wouldn't fucking stop. Um, YouTube, if its features actually worked as intended, of only half working. Yeah, and then YouTube rolls out some, like, stupid thing, like, like more ads or something. And then we just ran about how much you And then YouTube does, like, one kind of decent thing once every, like, four months. And we're like, oh, maybe YouTube isn't so bad after all. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so I fell asleep at, like, 3.20 or something like that, which or, like, 3.25, which for me is, like, actually good. Because for comparison, the previous night I fell asleep at, like, 6, past 6, actually. So, if I could start going to sleep at, like, 3, like, that'd be pretty good. Because that gives me plenty of time to, like, get up, like, practice. And I, and I still took a while to get out of bed again. But, like, morning showers are actually kind of goaded because they make me, like... Instead of, you know, dry myself, like, really slowly just watching TikToks, like, I'm more in a rush, so I, I, like... Although, I can't shower in the mornings on the, like, on the same days where we, like, go out, so it's, like, that kind of causes problems. Um... Hold on. Um, record, edit, and come back to that project if you have an option to save projects. So I don't have to do it all in one go. But yeah, you can just save project, and then you and then you just open the project at a later date, and then you can just like click on the end of the track and then press record again, and then you can just like. Cause like I only I only had like a six minute project file yesterday, but that's that's why I saved it then, and I'm just gonna carry on with it later. Snow day. Is that the South Park game? I don't think so, Khan. It was happening all the time. You do not know how some of ba how bad some of those lines were. There, there was one line where I said Tangle Kelp, and the T and the K both, like, had extremely aggressive pops. You could tell by, like, the audio waves and audacity. The pops were so fucking bad that, like, you know, like, the width of, like, the of like the audio bar? Like, and it has, like, the peaks, right? The, it, it pops so hard that the line touched the top and the bottom of the bar for both the T and the K. It was that aggressive. 
it, it really was like my face was literally right on the mic with no pop filter, which is not what happened, but that's exactly what it was like. Most of the lines, yes. Yeah. Some of them can still be masked by like background music. But admittedly, sometimes I do need to listen back to it like three times before I can barely hear a pop and then I force myself to redo it. But there are some lines that did have extremely microscopic pops that I was going to redo and then I forgot. And now I can't find out where those lines were because it's just masked by the music. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I can usually hear them. Like, the Tango Kelp thing was so unbelievably... Like, you would... Like, even if you're, like, only half paying attention, there's no way you wouldn't be able to hear that shit. And that line sucked to redo, by the way, because it was quite long. I don't know if... I, I'm gonna wait for, like, reviews, Arkham, I think, because, like... I'm just a little skeptical on it. I'll, I'll wait for reviews, hey, methinks. I'm usually not, not, for the most part, not the kind of guy to buy on day one anyway. I usually like to wait a little bit, because not only then do you get the safety net of, like, the reviews, but then usually you can find the game, like, a little cheaper, you know, just, like, used or whatever. Or, like, on CD keys or some shit. Although I do pre-order some stuff. There's been a... For some reason, recently... Whenever there's been, like, a new, like, a Nintendo game... For some reason, whenever you pre-order it on Amazon, it's almost always £43 instead of 50 Which is goaded, so I'm like, alright, I mean, that works. Especially if it's games that I, like, actually want to play, like, soon. Because, like, I just know they'll be good, like, Wonder. Or, like... Well, I say Legends of Arceus, but I actually ended up, like not playing it for years, and then when I did play it, I played it for like two hours. Hello. <laughs> Hello, thank you for the good luck. What's going on? Um... I hope it's gonna be goaded. Because it looked like it was in 30 FPS. However, I will wait until it comes out. And then we'll know for sure if it's in 30 FPS. Oh yeah, by the way, I you could like I did decrease my volume like, more one time to see if it could reduce, like, popping sounds, and it did, it didn't completely fix it, but it did actually help a lot. Um, that volume was so quiet, I had to, like, massively increase the gain on OBS, and Fireball had to increase me to 200% audio on Discord, and they said that they could still barely hear me, so, you know. What the fuck? Bro, I, it, you did that for so long that I, I don't even know how many I owe. I don't even know. I'm just gonna have to do it a random number of times that I think was probably the correct number. So like... Anyway, hello, careful. 15, okay. Four times in a row with that same bunk, a uh, hunk. Do you hear that? It was fucking four times in a row. A new Does anyone want to redeem it again to see if we can get it five times in a row? What's up, ants? Seven hours straight, that's the way to live. Thank you. However, the funny ended. Hello, Zep. What's going on?
not. Hello as well, Crow. Okay, 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 bye. I just honked a bunch of times. Careful. Um. Yeah, hello, everybody. Oh, Zep's arrival reminds me of something, actually. Um, I'm probably still gonna- I, I'm busy, but I'm probably still gonna learn mash up. Um, the issue is that a damage boost got found. And, uh, it's like really, 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 really bad. And we can't ban it in no major glitches. Because it's not a glitch. And it's- and it saves a minute, so like, you feel obligated to do it. But it's like really bad. So like Did Mindy bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? I might just invent my own category. Just call it like no major cringe. It just like just, just don't just don't do it. You're a pretty impressive strat hunter, Zep. You found a rubber dub skip, and you find that, like, quite impressive. That's why we got you on the hunt before for, like, weenie out of bounds, but unfortunately nothing came of that, which, which probably does mean that weenie's, like, pretty, pretty locked in, you know? Which sucks, because, like, weenie could be goaded, but it's not. No major cringe goes so hard as the category name, true as fuck. I guess the only thing is I don't think the VMS is cringe, but like, whatever. It could become cringe, so we're just <laughs> deleting it ahead of time. Just deleting the trick from existence. Yeah, that's the thing. Because you've had like tasking experience, right? So I think the ish, like, I think like you're just, you're naturally gonna like, you're gonna think like a Tassa. You have to get so like the stuff that you do find is gonna be like quirky and might be hard to be done uh, to be like completed RTA. So yeah, like I still wanna learn mashup, I might just ignore that stuff. Cause like Sky got 106 yesterday, so you can get 106 without the strat, like, it's not... Well, I wouldn't be doing box stay or VMS either, so, but, like, without all that stuff, you can probably get, like, 110 or sub-110, maybe. Probably, maybe. Actually, eh, I don't know about sub-110, but, like, you can still get pretty good time. But, yeah, I was busy last night. Actually, what was I doing last night? I don't even remember. I was, like... Cause like I'm done with Minecraft now. I still want to keep playing it, so it's not like the phase is over. But like I'm just done with the map I was playing on. <laughs> Although I really should be like editing the video, so it's like. Bleh. We only play Fortnite. Well, the only times where we could play Fortnite are uh, Friday to Sunday. Because those are the only times where, four, uh, where Fireball is available, so... And even then, like, no guarantee they'll be available for all of those days, or that they'll want to play for all. So, more likely, one to two Fortnite sessions a, uh, a week, rather than, like, the three it could be. Which is still, like, not bad, obviously, but, like... Yeah. No fording it, like, four times a week like we used to. Wasn't a good one. Yeah, Nabo Man and Good don't really belong in the same sentence. I don't know how many times I beat the game because, like, I mean, I don't know, like a few, like probably like five times or something. But like, I don't run, like I only before speedrunning, I definitely only 100 percent of it once. I know that much. But beating it, yeah, probably like five, six times if I had to guess. Wow. 
Why not Arkham? Well, I mean, there are some things I'm not really, like... The wings seem a little much. But, like, other than that, I'm not really, like... I'm, like, fine with it. The, the season so far. I mean, I haven't played it extensively, to be fair. But, yeah, I'm... I'm not having a bad time with this so far. Oh, the lightning? I have seen people complaining that it's, like, too OP. It does feel powerful when I use it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it probably... Probably should be nerfed. Um... I think, like, the big issue with movie is that, like, obviously to enjoy it at its best, you want to, like, obviously avoid all the cringe, but, like, on the first couple playthroughs, you probably don't know what the cringe exactly is. Plus, like, you're probably playing on GameCube. Which then makes it, like, way more cringe. And then it's like, damn, this sucks, but it's like... I feel like when you know, like, th there is... Like I've said before, there are games... There are games that are better on repeat playthroughs because, like, you know how to avoid the cringe. And two really good examples of that, off the top of my head, are Banjo-Tooie and Movie. My second playthrough of Tooie, like, my rule was that I wasn't allowed to look anything up because, like... I had to, like, actually go off memory. And uh, I beat the game, like... I did do one Jiggy I really should not have, because it was awful, but it turns out I could have grabbed two other Jiggies. That I just, like, c c forgot about, but, like, they're really easy, so, like, next playthrough I'd remember to grab them, and I could just avoid the cringe. But yeah, it's, it's surprising. Like, you have enough leniency in that game to avoid, like... Like, they're really bad jiggies, so it's, you're, you're mostly just doing stuff that, at worst, is, like, fine. And, and that's mostly the case with movie, that there's, like, a couple exceptions with, like... It's just inevitable you're gonna have to do some backtracking stuff, but, like... For the most part, you can, you can cut out a lot of the, the bad stuff. But obviously, you can't expect somebody to just, like route their fucking casual playthrough to be, like, the least cringe possible. Like, it's a bit much. The gates are locked. SD-102 is... Yeah, but because it's the first sandwich level, like, it's really easy. And that's kind of the... Pr like, it, it's it's not that long, but it's, like, really aids because it's so easy. You literally turn your brain off and the game practically plays itself. Like, there's no challenge. That's the problem. Like, as bad as, like, SDA guitar is and stuff, like, at the very least, you have to, like... Use your brain a little bit. <laughs> like, at least it's something. Like, I I'm, like... You know, SCD Guitar is pretty fucking terrible. I, I just mean, like... There is also, like, a boredom issue. And, like, Weenie Time is easy as well. It's just, it's just Weenie Ring. And if you don't do Weenie Ring, then you can't do Weenie Macho, even though Weenie Macho is also, like, fine. Just, like... I really wish you could just do Ring whenever you wanted. Like, just... After you beat the first challenge, if you just do ring whenever you wanted, it would it would fix the problem pretty much. Well, not completely, because then the ring challenge is still bad. But like, that would help quite a bit with like token progression, you know, getting enough. Yeah, no, I cannot recommend doing like four driving and sliding tokens, like you know, like. You kind of want to, like, leave them for as long as you can. Like, that's why I'm very critical of the five token requirement for Bash. Because, like, you either do combat, which is enemy spam, or you do sandwich driving, which you literally just did, and it's the exact same thing again because it's easy and you just take the same path. The only difference is that, like, there's no fucking beginning cutscene, and, the, and there's no ending cutscene. 
of the level, but like you skip those in a second anyway. Like the actual gameplay is literally identical, so it's like why? Like it's like why would you want to do that twice in a row? Like you don't. So then, but then combat, well, combat's the alternative then. But then combat is also like whatever. If they just make Creek doable, like casually, it would fix the fucking issue. Just, just like make the platforming like a little easier to be a little more like early level friendly, and then the she fix the problem. Problem solved. I was thinking of getting into movie damage list again, but like I don't know if I can be asked. Cause you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna like think it's easy again, and then I'm just gonna like not get past like Malbo Man again. It's just like. If you're not getting the jump at the end, uh, the flower jump, crow, then you know, turning too late, jumping too late, too early, like. There's, like, a decent amount of leniency with the flower, but, like, I used to, like, turn right and jump, like, kind of, like, just, like, literally immediately after, like, passing the flower. But, like, there's some leniency with it. I did not fucking... No, I got scammed playing Glover, actually. I got scammed, right? I didn't make any money off that fucking game. I literally did not make any money. Uh. Me when I touch thing and thing isn't touched. You know, fake ring. I just got fake tongue. Patrick. Your mum's a bad bitch. How about that? I would know. We meet up every night. Eh, uh, 16's... Eh, uh, 16's pretty fucking low. I'd say 18. a lot of time then by the sounds of it. Hello Lucy, what's loosen today? And also hello as well, could these what is also uh Hanging loose, cool. Yeah, I agree, Cotton. I think that'd be the go. 18 tokens plus, like, regularly. Like, because that would actually, like, yeah, that'd fix it. Because in no pull storage, we enter with 20, but that's with SD-102 and rub it up 2. So, and we get Creek, but obviously, yeah. So get rid of those two tokens, and then it's 18. So yeah, it literally fixes the problem. How would that be? Like a boss. Hello, Latte. What are you drinking today? I hope it's a Latte. Speaking of drinks, I had uh, an Arizona yesterday. It was peach flavored. It was mid. And then I had some foreign uh, Coke. And it tasted like Coke. It was good. 
I like that. Also, then I proceeded to have full Krispy Kreme donuts. I must have had, like, 90 fucking grams of sugar in my system. I, I, did, I didn't drink the whole Arizona, actually, so, like... And, and, this, and the Coke was, like, actually really small. It was 200 mils, so... How much sugar did I have? Because it was small Krispy Kremes as well. I had, like, 60 grams, probably. Like a mouse, like a mouse, like a mouse, like a mouse. I'm drinking water, coffee, bad. Why isn't your name Water SR then? This place. That was a much more like. I'm surprised that worked so well. That angle. Maybe I should try that angle out more, because, like, when I, when I was in the middle of doing it, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? But, like, it worked, so, I mean, might actually try that out later, if I remember. My tummy hurts. I'm gonna need a... <laughs> what is this? Like, I'm gonna need a cup of hot chalky. And a warm blankie. Hello, Berg. What's up? Thank you for the good luck. Water, quote, enjoyers when you show them an actual tasty drink. Did you know that if you drink that, you are going to live until you are 40? When it comes to, like, chocolate, like, I, I just, I only really care for hot chocolate. Vape. I kind of, we should bring back the meme. Do you remember the meme from, like, 2016 where if you vaped you were gay? We should bring that back and bully people for vaping. You, you, I see, like, 14-year-olds, like, all the time, like, vaping. But my dad vapes, so he always justifies it. He's like, oh, well, if they weren't vaping, they were gonna be smoking. And it's like, well... Yeah, like, a lot of them, yeah. But what if they're vaping and smoking? Or, like... What about the people who weren't going to smoke, but then they vape? Because they think it's, like, not bad for you, you know? It's, it's always stuff like that. When I asked him to smile for the camera, funny coming from a Brett. Ooh, I went there. That's good, Burger. My day's going fine. I just, you know, woke up, showered, practiced, ate, you know. Could be working on my video more after stream, I think. I also need, I'm like slowly learning the run for movie mashup, but it's gonna be a slow process. I hope I don't, like, finish my hundo goal, like, before I'm done learning mashup. That'd be kind of anticlimactic, then. <laughs> Shut up, Lucy. It's just, like, like, I was in town the other week, right? And I, and I just saw, like, who, like, two kid, like, two, like, teenagers, like, you know, one was, like, probably, like, I don't know, like, 14, the other one was probably, like, 16 or 17, and, like, a woman who was, like, definitely their mom, and, and those two were just openly vaping in front of her, like, she definitely knew, because, like, it was so, like, standing right next to her, just vaping, like, she, they wouldn't make an eye contact, but it's just, there's no way, there's no way she didn't know, right, so I, I think, like, it's just kind of...
kind of weird. YouTuber music? You mean like songs made by YouTubers? It's be like it's most likely because music is not what made them famous in the first place, so they they don't actually like. When you get to that stage, like, it, basically any music you make will probably blow up if you're already popular, because it's like, uh, oh, we're not used to seeing this guy sing, or, or it's like your standards are really low because, like, they're not known for that kind of thing. And, and then, so if it's better than you were expecting, it's like, oh, wow, this shit's 10 out of 10. But yeah, no, the first person I thought of when you said that was fucking Mori Calliope, which is funny. Like, her, her thing is just, like, because, like, she's fluent in Japanese, so, like, the songs are, like, half English, like, half Japanese, and everyone's fucking all over that shit. I forgot about Dream. Dude, how could I forget about Point of the Mask is? Prime, I forgot about that. Blender, that's cool. Cool skill to have. Like, I've thought about, like, learning how to do shit in Blender before, for, like, other stuff. But... I need it, like, I was supposed to learn, like, a little bit of 3D modeling, like, for a, for school, because of my coursework, but I literally just, like, stole someone's screenshot from a YouTube tutorial and just said I did it. It can be asked. Um... I just, like, took someone's, like, blender model of a treasure chest, and I, and I was literally, like, I did that, and I just did a paragraph on how I did Like, I don't even know how to use blender. I was just like, yeah, no, I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Bruh! Don't press upgrade menu twice. Worst mistake of my life. I think you said, like, I think you had a message that was, like, asking me a question. Uh, if you did, it, I can't see it anymore. Straight up racist. Are you sure? Coconut Mole, Mumbo's Mountain. Like, Super Mario World music. Many such cases. A movie extra. See, I could, but I'm too busy making videos. Also, Persona, Persona 5 music in videos as well. That's, like, too corny. My video has one Persona 3 track, which could be seen as corny, but... Oh well, I can't be asked to replace it, so it's staying there. Bring up two. I see, Lucy. I've seen, like, multiple Mori clips where you can tell that she's about to say the N-word and she has to stop herself. And I've seen people defending it, like, I I've literally seen, like... Like, she literally said, you fucking, and then was, like, said the letter N, and then had to, like, stop herself. And I saw people being like, eh, people are just assuming that she was gonna say something bad, you don't even know what she was gonna- And it's like, what else could she have possibly said that is an insult, starts with N, came from a, a, uh, from a point of anger, from a sense of anger, and she had to stop herself. Like, literally, what other word could have possibly fucking been? Like, what do you mean? Like, there, there is literally no other alternative. Did that work? I am a little skeptical on that working. Anything special? I do know. I do know. I have not thought 
far ahead enough, but in my defense, who the fuck thought that this was gonna take, like, 55 days? Well, again, I was thinking damage loss, but, like, that's... That would be a very, like, on-the-fly decision. That you just, like... And mashup could have also, like... I was also thinking of doing, like, non-serious attempts of just whatever my worst category is. Uh, my worst runners. Which is... It's probably either all extras or no major glitches, but the runs are still pretty good. I was thinking, like, oh, maybe I could still do, like, four-hour streams of that before, like, the video comes out. But, like, four hours spent on that is four hours not working on the video. So I'd be, like, delaying it pretty significantly. How the fuck did that not... Dude. That has to be, like, the latest I've ever hit him. Oh, my God. Wow, this game is fucking abysmal. Wow, dude. Th that was the latest Dennis has ever not got stunned. From my melon explosion. And then I, and then I got bad, like... I, I reacted poorly, but I still got bad RNG. Which, which then led to what happened then, because I accidentally killed the spinner. Like... That is still skill, you can easily avoid him, but if he also just spawned to the left, then that couldn't have even potentially happened. So I still got bad luck. And now this run is, like, down in the dumps. I'd have to, like, play like a god. Well, it still could, PB. If I get, like, old Sunday jumps, like, you know, get, like, perfect guess- well, not perfect guess, if I just get guess jumps, like, all the Sunday jumps. Just don't miss any more two frames. Just like... Basically, if I don't make any major mistakes or not too many minor mistakes, then I can PV. So, I have to play really good, but it is technically possible, so I do not want to let this run go to waste. Oomphy Gassy in response to one of Lucy's messages. Careful, you were lucky, like, I know who you are, because, like, if I... If you just, like, some random guy saying shit like that, I would've already been screaming at you, bro. I'd already be, like, 15 minutes into my 20-minute rant about how you're the worst viewer who's ever come into my chat. I do get compliments sometimes, like, oh, I like your streams, Pip. I'm like, that's nice, thank you. I like that. But then a lot of the time, yeah, it's just you, like... Lamau. Bros back in No Cheese. No Cheese Simulator. Bonk. That nearly galled it. That was kind of goaded. Yeah, it's like you're you're such a horrible chatter that I need to give you a very important person so that people know to stay away from you. I need a badge that indicates that. Stay away from this guy. Ice cream makes me dizzy. 
You should be stuck in no cheese for six hours now. No cheese too. Uh, when we find no cheese bowl storage effect for Hundo. It's gonna happen, I promise. Yeah, whenever I get a- whenever I'm, like, in late game, you're always like... I'm praying for this run's downfall. I'm praying for your downfall in real life, how about that? I just that that does not sound like a good category, TBH. Also, what if like a category like that, like we end the run with 52 tokens and NMG, so it should probably be you're allowed to warp anywhere except you have to warp to Knucklehead after you get 50, because then Knucklehead would be your 51st and Neptune would be your 52nd. But yeah, that would just be like. No waiting in line for us. Well, th that actually, as a matter of fact, that's just ETU with more tokens. And e um, lack and all platforming levels, but like with more tokens as well. It's all platforming levels, but with, like, sliding and driving, because sliding and driving can, like, be fast when you have to deal with that many tokens. I'm not in depression. Am I depressed? Yes. Am I in depression? Yes. I'm not depressed. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about it the other day, but like... I just like react really negatively to everything all the time. Like, my outlook on life isn't that positive, but I still like... Not like depressed or anything, like I, life is pretty cool, you know, it's like... I guess I just like the little things. I'm just like, oh man, Persona 3, go to game. This is a reason to live. Oh man. I gotta make it to next week so I can try one of my American drinks. I feel like in that sense, I'm also kind of easy to please, weirdly. Really, I'm really negative, but I'm also like really easy to please. Like, I'll let you like... When I, like, put food from the air fryer onto my plate and, like, one chip goes on the floor, I will genuinely be like, oh my god, of course this happened. Fucking bullshit. Like, now I'm gonna be hungry after I'm done eating. Like, I, I literally think things like that, because, like, one chip, like, dropped on the floor, I get really pissed off. But then I eat the food and I'm like, damn, this shit's bussin'. Life is good. Like, you don't eat floor food, perish. What's up, Tilba? How's it going, bro? You're not depressed because you don't know cheese. That's actually true as fuck. A few, you know, the stream that went on for over seven fucking hours. Like, I think it was like three hours in. I was like, I was tired for some reason, but I was also like really fucking fatigued because I could not get a run going. I was like, dude. I, I didn't say- like, I was thinking to myself, like, I might just stream to, like, five hours instead of six, because, like, I cannot play the game today, and it's really getting to me. And then I got that run, and I was annoyed that it- that it just went on until past 11 o'clock, but, like, the actual, like, my actual mood, like, in the run, I actually felt, like, com like, completely fine. I was actually, like, I felt so much better, because I was actually being able to play the game. And basically, that is uh, your PSA to not do truck skip and also to do creek buffer, because then I could. I didn't do that in that run, but I'm just saying if I did that, like, it's a permanent happiness. 
Oh yeah, okay, I actually wanted to do something sometime. I wanted to do a hundo stream where I force myself to do... To not do truck skip and to buff a creek token. Because then, like, dude, like, all the fucking runs we get into sandwich driving that one. That'd actually be, like, a goaded strut. However, like, that's a lot of time loss. Combined, that is, like, a time loss of, like, I think barely two seconds. And that might not sound like much, but, like... I, I, I've, I've cut it close a few times in Hundo. Those two seconds really could make the difference. Especially for mid-222, which is a pretty hard time to achieve. But I still want to try it sometime, because that would skyrocket the attempts to, to get into 3k. It would absolutely, it would absolutely skyrocket it. I'd literally be getting the 3k like four times more often, probably. Like, even though Sandwich Out of Bounds would still be an obstacle. I'm sorry, Tilbert. I didn't know. And so Blender be like that sometimes, I'd imagine. You know, you said American Dad was looking at a TV show. Good morning, USA. Being able to actually play games instead of only doing the first level 500 times is fun, I think. Yeah, that's... You remember when I was highlighting all those no pause storage runs? Like, yeah, you, I think you could tell that I just wanted an excuse to play the fucking game. I would do that more often. The only reason I don't is because then I'm worried that, like, if the run is dead, then people won't want to watch the run because it's dead. Especially in Hundo. Like, if the run died now, like, why the fuck would I continue with this... There's so much of the run left. There's almost an hour and a half, so, like, that would be stupid. But if it died in, like, gas jumps, then that's very different, but still. Like, some- like, if the run's really bad, I'll still reset at that point. Or if I'm just, like, annoyed. I shouldn't have reset yesterday's run, but to be fair, that- that did mean that I could play Ghost Jelly Lake, so maybe it was worth it to reset. There was just, like, a good amount of time left to play Ghost Jelly Lake, and I like- it was a good hack as well. That was a really bad tune. Klaus. I remember, like, watching Modern American Dad is weird because, it's, yeah, like, Klaus is literally, like, Meg, like, punching bag, whereas, like... In, like, the first couple seasons, like, it's pretty established that Klaus is, like, evil, so his brain got transplant- like, he, he's a fish for a reason. And he just, like- and he's, like, trying to get with, like, Francine, so he's, like, you know, stirring shit. But now he's just, like, guy to make fun of, I guess, I don't know. Big Max. You tell me Mac is big? There's no lie. Yeah, that plus 22 I was pretty skeptical about, honestly, Cotton, but... I say as I missed a Sunday jump, but I have turned it around mostly, like... Although, missing that one, I can't be minus out of the split anymore, but I can be pretty close if I just clutch out the rest of it. I'll be, like, very close to minus. Um, and then Plank and Co. will hopefully help out with that, too. Basically, my goal is to be, like, barely minus going into gas jumps and then just clutch it out afterwards. That's the goal. Which I am absolutely capable of doing. Is Oh my god, I have too many nitros. But, yeah. That's not too bad. I'll beep in a minute. There's only three options. Well, four options.
Funny Horn is obviously an S tier. I think Beep Beep is uh, pretty good too. I think that's like A tier. And then. Uh, it doesn't last long enough, but it's still pretty goaded. It's it's like high A or like low S. And then like, I don't even know how to describe the other one. That one sucks, at least comparatively. That one's like B tier at best. But not to, <laughs> wait. Oh wait, yeah, the Shah horns. I, I, I completely forgot about that. Um. Car built for home is a goaded car anyway, but yeah, the I forgot that the they all have different hunks. How would I, dude? I don't even remember. Like, how many ring sounds even are there? I literally forgot, bro. It's probably like four. Like, I can't even like. Am I supposed to do that? Sometimes I forget the rings even have sound effects because I'm usually talking during the ring challenges. And because like the music and the sound effects kind of drown it out a bit anyway. So much destruction. Wait, well lap I am on lap two, I think. Yeah, I'm on lap two. I was worried that I had too many nitros, but now I'm on lap two, so it do not matter. They're all the fucking same. I mean, the crown is at the top because it looks the coolest, and then the tub because it's a tub, and then the shell because it's like, bruh, who cares, it's a shell. Don't get me wrong, it's cool that they put in the effort to, like, make it different. But, like, yeah, the bathtub and the crown are cooler. I'm not ranking them. Okay. I mean, Never Fear is pretty good. Manager coming through is lame. Like, that could be played anywhere. Like, that's lame. Short Slide is kind of funny. I think that one should be ranked kind of high. I don't even know after that. Yeah. I think it's funny that he calls it excitement, but then they just walk forward for like 20 seconds. I was about to say, like, uh, I should rank all the ring challenges that all be in, like, the, like, the lowest, like, two tiers. But if we had, like, a waiting system, so that, like, one of them has to be S, so it's, like, weighted, then I think easily the best guitar, uh, the best ring challenge, including uh, the guitar challenges, is the, pre the fucking BBBH guitar. Because it's, like, not so short that you wonder why it exists. It's not too long, and it's not hard. But you get, like, a really good view of the level. So it's, like, cool to, like, view the level from that camera perspective. Um. So, yeah, I'd say DVH Guitar is the best one. I hate that fucking emo tilde. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. An SCDA guitar would be goaded if it wasn't unfair and was, like, a little shorter. If it did one less loop around and if the placements of the rings are more fair, then SCDA guitar would be goat. Oh, <laughs> 
You know what's really fucking sad? Like, SCD and Guitar is still shorter than, like, Sandwich Ring by, like, a lot, but obviously, like, we can't fucking do it in no pool storage. No fucking way, man. Fuck off. Can you figure out what I'm about to say? Could you possibly imagine what I would want to say in response to that? Of all the things I could possibly say in response to getting rock locked, what is the most likely one? No, not this has never happened before, it has happened before. What is, what is the most likely thing that I could say? Hello, Mythic, what's up? No, I would have said it hasn't. It didn't happen in practice, which is true as fuck. Because it didn't. As a matter of fact, the general could, dude. How come, right? Whenever, like in practice, I get this a lot. How come the most likely thing to happen in a run then is not even missing as rock locking? Like, if it went well in practice, the chance of rock lock is, like, fucking high for some reason. Like, I, I feel like I hardly ever rock lock when the Sunday Jumps practice was, like, average or worse. Then I, like, never rock lock. I feel like the reason why is because, like, when the attempts are successful, the actual, like, directional inputs are, like, actually not that far off of just, like, rock locking. Whereas missing it, like, you could be way off even the angle to rock lock. I think it, I think it might be to do with, like, you're close, you were closer to getting it at when you rock lock compared to missing it most of the time. It's probably something to do with that. So, like, your brain is, like, trying to recite the inputs, but it's, like, struggling to. So it does them slightly off, and then it's just enough to miss the trick. Like... Dude, how did that... I don't get this trick, bro. Sometimes you just don't get enough height. Like that. Like... You just don't get enough height sometimes. And that time, I had too much height. Because then I would have to do, like, this, which is slow. Let me, like... Blender Lebed? Question mark? This didn't ha- Oh, speaking of this didn't happen in practice, in, in the- in the movie practice mod, like, this mod, I'm not even joking, four things happened that have never happened in the practice mod before, four things. And I'm not talking tricks, I mean, like, actual, like, bugs. Like, four things, literally three of them were literally in a row. And then the game crashed, and then it rebooted it, and then immediately the fourth thing happened, I'm not even joking. Like, I don't even know how that's possible, but yeah, three things happened in the practice mod, like, bugs that I've never seen, and the game crashed, and I rebooted it, fourth thing happened. Like, okay, so the first thing was that I had overlapping text on the menu, which I haven't seen before. The second thing that happened was that I did ball extra, and it did not, like, I, I destroyed all the boxes, but the, the, the extra didn't spawn. There is a timer on it, but you have to fuck up by, like, four to five seconds for the timer to deplete, uh, to be gone. I literally lost, like, one second. No clue why it didn't work, right? And then the third thing that happened is that I enabled mag and the game just fucking crashed. And then the fourth thing that happened is that I loaded into Gask and I was just stuck in the lamp. So, like, yeah. I most certainly do not love driving strats. Why did Oi You Better Drink Some Water follow me 37 minutes ago?
welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Try not to be impossible to normalize challenge, true. Adventure, just another day. Literally impossible, bruv. The thing is, right, is that, like, Shah's actual driving is way better than movies because it's not a focus point. Well, with how many tokens you have to do from them, you fucking think it is, but it's not, it's not meant to be. So, like, we, like, to make the driving good, we need strats, but then the, all the strats fucking suck. And, like, obviously there are a lot of Shah strats that suck, I just mean, like, Shaw driving doesn't like it doesn't need strats to be like good whereas like we need so even though I bitch about the strats like they kind of need to exist Or else like it just like the driving would then just be like boring and terrible so it's like Welcome Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yeah. I'd say, like, well, okay, I don't know if this is a controversial take. Would it be fair to say that most driving game strats in general suck? Because you're literally trying to do a precise thing with a fucking vehicle and not, like, some tiny-ass character who, like, moves around like a normal human. This is, like, easier to fucking like do shit i feel like most games have bad driving and most driving is a bad like driving strats i mean you got cool looking ones but yeah honestly i think a lot of them are just like especially because they're so focused on like speed as well and acceleration and shit but then there's a lot of strats that like are like quirky as fuck and you have to like really you know it's it's just Especially if the vehicle's, like, really weighted. Like, the paddy wagon. It, like, yeah. I think I'm onto something here. I don't know much about, uh, crash racing or whatever the fuck, but I... Actually, no, no, no. Hold on, I think I was about to waffle. I actually mixed it up with, uh... It's like some... Is there a... Okay, is there a Pac-Man racing game? Because I swear to God there is. I don't want to get this wrong. But I'm pretty positive it's some Pac-Man racing game. They have some, like, strat, like, at the beginning of the run. Where, like, the consistency of it is, like, fucking... Like, like, 10% or some shit. But, like, you have to do it. Because it's, like, literally at the beginning of the run. And you have to do it, like, three times. I, I think it's the first split or the second split. But, yeah, it, like, never works. But you have to do it. Track Mania, yeah, they go too fucking fast in that game, bro. The strats are bound to suck. Eminem, yeah, I unfortunately know, because I remember Raj talking constantly about how he's gonna run the fucking Eminem racing game. M Eminem racing game. Um, he, he always told me he was gonna run it, and I should run it. And I was like, bro, I'm not running. I'm not running that game. <laughs> You know what's a fun Raj fact? He he did like two runs of like some fucking Rugrats game and I don't know why. He actually ran a Rugrats game. Congratulations, Tilbert. I am proud of you. Speaking of blind races, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I gave up on level two. Three people actually finished. It took him hours. SpongeBob. Hmm? 
for a game that's actually good. I don't think I ever have done a blind race for a good game. Let me think. I mean, I haven't done that many anyway, but like... Well, there's Charlie, which was terrible, and then Quill on level 2. Um, there was Hero Pants, and we all know what Hero Pants is like. Are those the only games I've ever done blind races on? That can't be right. But to be fair, like, I've kind of always had, like, no one to fucking speedrun with is the issue. Yeah, may maybe it has only been those two, then. That'd suck if so. Yeah, you can if you want. Um, I guess the only thing about that, Cotton, is like, if the game is actually good, then you ruin the casual experience by doing a run already. Which is exactly a thing I've complained about a lot before. Because I already bitch about people doing day, like day one runs. Well, not, like, not day one if they've already beaten the game, but, like, they're not even, like, enjoying what's there. They're just, like, skipping all the cutscenes and shit, because you gotta, it's a race, so you gotta skip the cutscenes, fucking... That shit's cringe. Like, it, if the game looks bad and you just genuinely don't think you're gonna enjoy it, then that's, like, unless you do a funny run of it, then that's different, but, like... What's up, Shadow? How's it going? Join blind runners if you want to do blind races, I guess. Eh, I'm not really, like, bothered. Yeah, I'm doing alright, thank you. And, uh, likewise. Yeah, kind of, I was thinking of, like... I think even for my own entertainment, I might like from now on if if I'm if it's easily accessible, I might start just like recording my first playthroughs, not commentating through them. But just so I can like look back at them. I mean that could be fun. I think it'd be a fun thing to do. Yeah, don't get too obsessed, though, because then you can, like... I still have not watched the Frontiers run because I don't want spoilers, but yet I have not played the game since 2022. Like... Bruh. Can't get too obsessed with... But yeah, no, it's generally good to, like, avoid spoilers, like, the shit you actually care about, yeah. <sighs> Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager. The fucking worst though is when like you actually care about spoilers or something, and then you just get hit with it. Even in the like I couldn't watch the Pokemon Presents. Oh no, I was able to watch the Pokemon Presents on time actually. The, the most recent one, I watched it, and then literally, like, an hour later, it already saw a thumbnail, re uh, recommend, like, a video recommended on YouTube, and the thumbnail was already, like, spoiling, like, three fucking things from the, from the Pokemon Presents. Well like... Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yeah. Oh, it'll be... Oh, oh my god, dude, nah, the worst, right, is when it's like... Insert game with deaths here. 
all deaths, and it literally, like, it doesn't have a custom thumbnail, but, like, the game keeps tally of who, which characters have died or some shit. So, like, like, kind of, like, Danganronpa, depending on, like, what screen you're on. So, like, you literally just fucking see who's died sometimes, like, in the thumbnail. Or, like, the thumbnail is custom, but, like, they'll have, like, a certain character on the, on the thumbnail, so, like, you know they fucking die, because why else would they be there? Like, sucks. All bosses, no damage, my beloved. Welcome. Yeah, and it just has a thumbnail for the boss. Dude, you know who the worst spoilers are? Are the fucking One Piece content creators. Right, they suck, because, like... They'll read the latest chapter, and then make a video on it. But, like, the way it happens is that you literally, like... You'll, you'll, like, scroll to the short, and then you instantly get hit with... We all know that this character died. No, I didn't fucking know, because it's not gonna happen for the next, like, fucking 40 episodes. What do you fucking mean they died? Not 40, but, like, yeah, like, 25 episodes. We're not gonna see them die. They always do that. This we we all know this character got a huge buff, and it's like, well, thanks for fucking ruining it, then, man. That's so cool. This is a job for a man. Like, bruh. Oh, dude, Tilbo, that's so true. I could not like. It, it's so, like, I try to, like, not... Oh, and, and the other, like, it was just other stuff as well, like, um... Secret ending, or... Like... It got spoiled to me early that you can date the Persona characters. Because I typed in, like, a character. I think I think I wanted to, like, just kind of... I was, I was trying to, like, look at a guide, I guess, to see if, like... The character's actually, like, good, and then it's just, like, romance, and I'm like, what? You can fucking romance them? As we're all aware... Uh, this character finally got some bitches. And, and the whole point of the anime is to get bitches. It's like, what was the point then? Like, no point in watching it now. Dude, there's a guy on YouTube Shorts who pisses me off more than he should. It's not really even related to what we were talking about, but it, it just reminded me of it. Um, it's a good thing I'm a small streamer, because otherwise I'd be known as, a, as like, the hater YouTuber, but, like... I think I complained about him before. Like, literally, all he does is gives, like, basically the synopsis of, like, every Spongebob episode. That's all he does. I, I, like, I know I've complained about it to Lucy before, but... It kind of pisses me off, because all the videos do well. And, he, and all he does is just say what happens in the episode. That's all he does. And his mic sucks. It's always the same background music every single time. And it's and it's just... That's all they are. It's just... Synopsis. With the same music and bad mic and every single time. I just... I can't comprehend... Do you ever get pissed off because someone, like, the amount of effort they put in is, like, extremely, extremely disproportionate to, like, how successful they are? It's just, like, yeah. This is also unrelated, but also reminded me of it. I watched LX, LS Mox video on, like, AI content. And, like, it did make me realize something, right? 
the reason why the AI content isn't doing good numbers anymore is because everybody's trying to do it, right? Because more than ever, more than ever, I'm seeing so many YouTube shorts and TikToks where it's like, you know, like Reddit stuff and Minecraft gameplay in the background or like, or like Mr. Beast fucking AI shit with like, with the presidents. I'm noticing so many that have 100 likes or less. Or even like, yeah, like South Park TikToks. They're all like, I've seen some with literally zero, zero likes. I've seen a lot. And a few months ago, that was, I would see that, but it'd be incredibly rare. Now it's like, they generally get less likes and views than they used to and comments. But some of them still do pretty well, of course. Some channels are established for that shit. But there are so many with like 20 likes compared to before. Because, it, like, everybody's trying to fucking... Like, it's not about, like, alright, how do I make something good? It's actually, like... Oh, if I do this, I might make money for doing, like, no effort. Uh, for putting in no effort. And then they try it, and because every single person ever has thought of that, it doesn't work. Cra yeah, no, Krabby Land's literally the, the Willy Wonka thing. Old deaths. A hundred ways to die in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Hay fever. Just, just try not to say hey, and then you want to have hay fever. But um, I think it's completely fair to put a lot of effort into a YouTube video and kind of like expect like some. Like, I'll, if, if you really are dedicated to, like, what you're doing and you, put, and you really do put in a lot of effort, like, I do think it's fair to get paid for it. But yeah, when, when it's actually, like, you go into, uh, you go into, like, some AI chat thing and it's just, like, make Mr. Beast AI president TikTok breath. And then you download some other guy's Minecraft hardcore gameplay. And then you auto generate the, the the subtitles, which is why they're always wrong. By the way, if you notice, like they're all like they always get a lot of words wrong. It's because it's because it's just auto generated. Congratulations, brev. Lamau. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. <laughs> if only. Finally, sweet teats. That's kind of quirky. Radio tower. If you add another one, it, it, it hurts manager's charm. Also, I don't even know how many radio tower lines there are, but like they're not nearly as memorable. The one I remember the best is the one that's used in, that's reused in creature because it's reused in creature. Nightbot gets a lot of one in forty nines. Kind of, it's kind of crazy. Ugh.
It got four in a row recently. Like a week ago. It got, it got four in a row. I think that's the highest we've gotten. Bro has the option of changing, like, an actual unnamed split, like, Frogfish, but it's just like, nah. Depression. Alright, so you do, do you want a lowercase s? I'm winning because I'm aggressive from LCP. White camera in my panties? White's camera pants was good. I just stream it again in like two years. Um. Things sorted out for you in a bit. No. I have not heard someone say that before. I can barely hear the game as is. What makes you think it's, that's going to change now? Also, like, I don't... Okay, I wanted to get the confirmation. Actually, I wouldn't be able to... No, it's con... You don't have a mod OG. You don't even have an OG, do you? Um... I swear on Xbox, mashups, music is uh, and sounds in general are even quieter than vanilla movie. I swear they are. Cause I, like, I can hardly hear them in vanilla, but in mashup, I fucking just straight up cannot hear them. I like straight up, I can't hear the music at this volume. Like, with like w with like one ear, like, you're just trying to get me to boot up the game. Fine, though, I'll do it. I can... I'm being silent. That sounds quieter than sandwich driving. I'm pretty damn positive that the music is even quieter than vanilla. And that's saying a lot because vanilla is already too quiet. If anything, the music should have been jacked up and the sound effects too. I'm not doing a mashup run. I need to uh, learn NMG and also either hope. I either need to ign also that spinner damage boost that Zep found uh, Sky decided they were calling it XD boost. So yeah. Um So it's either like I avoid XD boost or I hope that some alternative to it gets found, but that's already a minute time loss because I'm, I'm there's no fucking way I'm doing it in its current state. Literally like ten to fifteen percent consistent strat. Might as well do weenie out of bounds while I'm at it, bro. Like Why did it take longer to load? Anyway.
Yeah, I can hear it. Now, so what happened, Wilcon, is that Sky got 106, said 105 would barely be possible without us, and now they basically have to do it. In a brev. Okay, well, obviously I jacked it up on OBS, but I'm saying I swear it's quiet to the vanilla. No. Maybe it's meant to be more ambient, but yeah, I think it's just a bit too quiet. Welcome. Never Wilcom will ended. be like, Double H played my mod, and he suggested 498 fucking changes that I can make. So now I literally have to do them all, because it has to be perfect, just another bro. day in the life of a manager. Short slide from manager me when manager. I play a I play a fan made creation literally for free and it provides me with like an hour of content and it's incredibly polished and has a lot to offer. Man, this jellyfish placement is slightly manager off. I fucking hate this shit. That's what Wilcon thinks the average player is like. I'm feeling like more of a man already. I thought he said, like, I don't even know what I, I thought he said, like, nip pick, as in, like, dude, as in, like, a nude. Forty-nine. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, like... Fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The middle people probably can't even tell with like 30 of those things. Yep, excitement, adventure. <laughs> One unit to the left, for real. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. A manager is always prepared. What? Technically, I was a playtester, kind of. Boing. And it was fun. Is it next to what now? See, yeah, that's what- you know before, Wilcon, when I said it eventually? When you nitpick so hard, it eventually gets to the point of just straight up being pretty subjective, like... Never fear, yeah. The, like, I the feel like you've narrowed down the nitpicks now to where some of them are literally just... Yep. ...completely subjective. Adventure. By the sounds just of it. Another day in the life of a manager. Short slide from manager to, well, not manager. A manager is always prepared. 
see what the objective points in question this jellyfish is one fucking pixel too close to the edge of the platform brev job for a manager right. yeah at that point con if you have to like look in, like in the files then it's pretty much like not even an issue at that point uh, this is like so minor No traditional you win warp out. What's that like supposed like I mean like how does it end currently? Like how how do you have a setup like the way it ends currently? Right. I don't really see the issue with that, other than, like, it could be argued that a longer celebration means, like, more time to be like, yeah, I did that, I'm so cool, but, like, let's see. Getting locked in place for a longer period of time is kind of usually not a good thing. Skill issue? Question mark. SpongeBob. Well, I mean, I've yeah, I haven't seen that shit, so you're just gonna have to judge for yourself if you actually should make those changes. Especially if any changes in particular like would take a while to like fix because some things will be quicker than other things like bad enemy placement that's pretty damn easy to fix i would imagine but like fans you'd have to like i don't even know what you'd have to do I, it depends on how the structure but like slightly slow them down or slightly scale them up more so it's easier to walk along them or the fucking something make the melon last a tiny bit longer like it'd just be kind of like it'd be kind of annoying at that point Yeah, that's why, like, when it comes to playtesting, well, obviously official playtesting usually has a ton of players playing it, especially these days, you know, when they get early access to a game, you just have hundreds or maybe even thousands of people, like, playing the beta. Because then it's, like, then it's, like, really obvious, like, when you, when you have, like, a collective, like, a, a collective um, agree agreement on something. Because in theory, not not definitely, but in theory, if you had ten playtesters, theoretically, Double H could be the only one who thinks that 
the fans are a little too hard. You can be 1 in 10, and in that case, then, it's clearly, like, not meant to be changed. Or he could be the 9 out of 10, and it is too hard. But, like, you just don't know because you don't have enough testers. You could, yeah, you could also just get unlucky with the playtesters and they all just suck, but that's less likely. That's, the, the more people you bring in, the less likely that is. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. But, like, the reason why I bring that up is because, like... Again, it just gets to a point where some things are just nitpicky or could easily be disagreeable. Hello, Koopa. Not much is happening. Will Khan is almost done making his mod, but Double H provided 49 things that could be changed. So now Will Khan is, I guess, debating which ones should be actually changed. Which changes should be made. I guess that's currently what we're talking about. I suppose that would mean just, like, be more... I guess that's a hard task in itself. Flight's, like... Making something look like the thing it's meant to represent as good as possible. While also keeping, like, the... You know, the whatever count low. I forgot the name. Just, yeah, just keep, like, the poly count low or whatever, whatever's being used. True, it's like, back in my day, we had Super Mario Bros, and it's like, yeah, that game sucks. Back in my day, if you... You wouldn't turn into, uh... You wouldn't go from Fire Flower Mario to regular Mario to Mini Mario. you just go straight to Mini Mario. Uh, yeah, stupid. Like, any other questions? Like... Yeah, that's another thing as well, like, being efficient with your, uh... With the avert count, I suppose, like... That's a skill in itself. Is, like, making use of, like, all the virtues and shit. No worries, up. I don't know if I got that. We will find out in nine minutes. Okay, yeah, you know that something's nitpicky when fucking Will Carnival people is, like, questioning 
like actually making those changes. That's how you know that it's too nitpicky. Because like Double H has already sent him like a billion things for Will Conch and, and he's changed like most or all of them as far as I'm aware. And then he comes up with 49 more. Yeah, no, I, I think at that point, even when you get Will Con to be like, all right, bro, like time out. Like, that's when you gotta draw the line and you're like, all right, bro, like, no. Yeah, you'll never be able to appeal to anybody. It could literally be, like, objectively the best thing ever made, and you'll still have, like... This is too easy. This is too hard. This is too long. This is too short. Yeah, I mean, if, if you want to keep using Blender, then, I mean, it's good to know, like, how to use in the fit. Yeah, you can just basically take that as practice, essentially. Yeah, that's, in the, yeah, that's, that's true as fuck. The skill difference is pretty big, so it eventually gets- you have to cater to one over the other, really. Whichever one you pick is, like, fair, but obviously, you know. That's also, yeah, it's fair, Koopa. Um, we said about community cut. Yeah, I'm not gonna play test because I want to play when it's like. Because as of, as far as I'm concerned, because the mod is not out, it is not on version 1.0, and I want to play version like what is officially released to the public, and everybody can stop playing it at the same time. Like that's the version. I want to make sure that I'm playing the version that is as good as the version everyone else is playing, basically. Because then it's it's more fair to like judge it, because it's actually like out. You know, if if I'm just play testing it, then like I can't give like a proper. No. There'll just be more like criticisms, and I'm not you know getting the best experience I could. So I mean, play testing could be cool, but yeah, no for. for like Spongebob mods, I generally prefer to not ask to play test. I, cause, you know, I also want people to see the mod in like its best shape, you know? Hello, beefy crunch burrito. Thank you for the good luck. How was your day been? Yeah, I think it's cool that you've tapped into, like, you know, like, catering into for, like, different people, I suppose, Koopa, like... You have, you have, like, multiple mods that cover, like, you know, that cover all grounds, so it's like... There's something for people to play from you. That, that you've made. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true as well, Zeb, actually. Like, it might also, like... Oh, 
Like, let's say a mod's kind of, like, in in the modding scene, kind of, like, blows up. Like, everybody knows in the community that it's, like, good. It can actually kind of decelerate. Hopefully that's the right word. It, it can, like, decelerate that. Like, because if you have, like, six people play a mod before it's even out, like, that's a lot of people. And, like, because they've already, like, played the game before, they might not play it again after it comes out. There's just less people playing it at the same time. Which means, uh, it, it makes it harder to spark that domino effect of people, like... You know, playing it and being like, oh, this is really good, you gotta check this out, you know? It, it just... Can slow that whole process down, or even just stop it from... Growing to what it could have been. I mean, that's a pretty pessimistic way to look at it, but, like, that is, like, the worst-case scenario. That's why I can't have too many playtests. I wanted to play, uh, Robo Sponge Combat, but, like, it, it, like, I booted it up, and, like, it didn't work, if you, rec if you recall. It, it just kind of, like, didn't work. I mean, I mean, it didn't crash, if I, I don't think, yeah. I think it just, like, wouldn't spawn the enemies, or something. Yeah, I think the right number of playtests is probably, like, two people, honestly. Unless it's, like, a big-scale thing, like Mashup was. Because that had, like, five testers or something, which... Like, that's probably a good number. I refused to playtest it, though. I wanted to... I wanted a blind playthrough for stream. Veterans, do you mean like harder? Well, like what I have in mind when you say veterans is like Minecraft freaks old mods. They're like really hard for like no good reason. It's, um, and the checkpoints are scarce. Well, yeah, especially because, Zap, I think you'd be spending a lot of time on the, uh, on some custom models and stuff. Be sure not to touch these, or you'll get hurt. You know, mashup took fucking forever, but, like, if you also took, like, models into account as well, like... The fucking thing would have never come out. <laughs> Second strike. Movie second strike would go kind of hard. I found one. Sounds best. Like, well, that probably is for the better. 
Though I also would like one day for just like a, a mega enemy spam mod like Second Strike. Because it was weirdly fun to do it in battle. So I feel like... I just want to do it again, but, like, don't have the excuse to play Second Strike again, so I just want that, like, that exact experience for the movie. I think part of it is, like, being good enough at, like, the game and the engine to, like, know how to exploit some things, but it's still really hard. I think that was, like, the satisfaction. Like, it's hard, so it feels satisfying when you get through it, even if it's BS. Saying, I forget. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just doing like Hans Sable and Cruise Boosting and all that shit to get around certain things. Or, or like in Robo Sponge Phase 2, when I like went behind the trampoline, like re uh, rehydrated style, so I could just like avoid the enemy's attacks for the most part. That was pretty cool. Pokemon's made in the enemy, well, I mean, like, every single level in the game. But also, not just enemy spam, though. I also want, like, a few custom areas, you know. They basically, like, like, like Second Strike, but it's in movie. They could even have a couple battle levels in there. Wouldn't that be cool? It'd be like a polar, it'd be like the opposite of Second Strike. Well, not the opposite in terms of difficulty, but, like, yeah. That's what I want. personally do not think that, in my opinion, Carden. However, I do really like the combat challenge that they have. Uh, it's actually fucking genius. When I was playing through, I was like, dude, like, I kind of wish, like, movie combat arena... Like, imagine a movie combat arena where it's, like, you have to, like, a actually still play through depression and, like... Yeah, it's just like a bunch of enemies. You kill them, and then they let you progress forwards. And then you're like, that's just like that's that's a, that's way more interesting. It makes it feel so, like it, it's it's like still very low effort compared to like you know like a brand new like actual location with like a lot of background scenery and stuff. But like it's just it's just a way of making it fun and cool with still like relatively low effort. Like it's it's really genius. A Taiwan Encore Xbox said first. Knowing how games work is satisfying, yeah. I mean, there's still things about this game we don't know, but yeah, for the most part, like, when it comes to, like, obviously movement and tech and stuff, of course we've got to, like, mostly figure it out. Although I didn't know about that fucking car wheel thing that you found in Mashup. I'm pretty sure that's brand new tech. Cause like, I don't remember ever seeing that before. I just, like, you know, I just don't, like, I probably shouldn't care as much about an Xbox version as I do, but, I don't know. I was eating good with Xbox mashup, so now I'm just, like, now I want more movie Xbox mods.
It's because it's like, I, there aren't really any points in the game where we would actually use that anyway, I don't think, so it's pretty why. But yeah, if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, like, well, Zep found that you could, like... Like, because, like, the, the the XD boost in Mashup... You get a damage boost off of a spinner, but then you cartwheel out of the damage boost. I mean, like... Like, you get damaged, and then you cartwheel off the the ledge. And then you have a shit ton of speed because you're cartwheeling. Like, it maintains that speed. We didn't know you could do that. The gates are locked. Damage momentum direction. That is strange. Well, I do hope, uh, obviously, like, don't feel forced to make an Xbox port. However, if you do decide to make one, I will be a happy camper. Oh my god, campers? Like the campus spatula from Battle? Battle reference? I don't know what my favorite second strike level was. I mean, the hub was, like, pretty funny. Do you remember when I entered Squid's house and I just got bombarded with enemies? It was kind of funny. Um, the worst parts of the mod were definitely the bosses, plus... Yeah, the bosses, uh, Knucklehead and Plank after, like, the novelty wore off, and... Probably JF, because, like, apparently it's changed very- like, JF was made, like, way before, like, everything else, so... Like... You know, less experience. And, uh, Kelp Ring was actually abysmal. That was like the worst thing in gaming history, Kelpern. I released it after you play the GameCube version. Death penalty. Honestly, Zep, yeah, most likely. Which is unfortunate, because, like, yeah, you could do cool stuff with that. Yeah. Do you remember that Chuck that was, like, roughly at the lake where, like, the, the that one sock is at the beginning of the level? And it was sniping me when I was, like, practically at the end of the area. Like, in the fa uh, like little fountain. It was sniping me from there. Like... I was obviously no way close enough to, like, cruise bubble it, but it was still able to snipe me. For, like, the whole ass level. You'd have to, like, advertise the mod to people as, like, you gotta think outside the box, I feel like. To get to Shell's
I feel like the way that you'd handle that would be like wait for the Tata to shove sh to stop shooting while the sleepy has his back turned so that you can like hit the sleepy. Get it, bruv. I honestly don't remember how I handled Sleepy in, well, in late game, definitely with a cruise bubble, but before that I can't remember. Man, I just want to play fucking Second Strike again, I don't know what, like, it's just enemy spam and, like, some cool objectives, but, like, I just, I don't know. It's like something, like, low-key kind of addicting about it. I thought you said Teletubbies. I can see my rock from here. Oh wait, it's just the rock. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually, Cardin. Well, yeah. What's up, I pass by the night. Um, thank you. However, like, I don't remember when I played Second Strike, but I think it was a little less than a year. I think I played it in like April or something. Like, I just it has not been very long. I feel you know. The second time just would be easier than the first time, and I would know what to expect the majority of the time. So, like, I feel like a lot of- because I think a lot of the novelty was me just not knowing how to deal with something, because I was like, what the fuck, I wasn't expecting this. But I know I can- I remember a lot of that mod, and I would know how to, like, tackle something the second time. I did consider the idea of one hit, but that would just be way too much. I was thinking, like, don't get golden underwear, but, like, honestly, right, realistically, probably a high chance that I would just forget and just accidentally grab underwear. I don't know if there's a way to, like, edit the I and I, so, like, you literally just can't get golden underwear. Oh, wait, don't you have to pay for it, actually? No, you can you can get one of them out in the open, but the other two you have to pay for, if I recall correctly. So I would need to like remember to not grab that one. I think it would also it would definitely take two streams again, but this place. This place. Runs dead. Probably. I'm feeling like more of a man already. Dude, I just lost like twenty seconds maybe. The second strike even like AR codes, I mean it, it probably I assume any mod is fine with them, but Anyway, yeah, I mean, I guess I could. I still think it'd be a little, like, like not as good as last time because I still know what's coming, but that... Honestly, there is a possibility that I, like, have a major regret of three health. So maybe the goal should just be to beat the game rather than 100% it. Because I'm making the game way harder. 
And maybe I could beat it in one stream. Probably not, but like maybe. I just, like, I pressed B, and then he just didn't do it, and then I pressed B again, obviously, out of, like, habit, like, because he didn't do it the first time, and then because I pressed B the second time, then he was too fucking close to the edge, and then I died. Well, but then the question then is, well, then why didn't he fucking bowl the first time? Because I literally pressed B, and he did not do anything. So, like, why did he do that? Or rather, why did he not do that? I do need new content. <laughs> hey, this is great. You really got to try it. Hello, Froggily. What's up? Oh my god, bro, what the fuck? Literally, like, how many mistakes was that? A lot. I can't even practice the ball at the beginning, either. The fact that, like, all that happened and I still got a half spear boost is, like, actually insulting, because, like, it tricks so hard. And, and, like, by far the hardest part of it is, like, the first, but the second part's easy, but, like, the like, I, like, slightly fucked up the first part, so I couldn't attempt the second part, which, again, just added salt to the wound. Like, how did I get all of that and get a really hard trick as well, but then only enough to, like, get the hardest part of it and not the easier part, and then I continued to make these really stupid easy mistakes? Like... I feel like the only way that could have been made worse is if I fucking lost Ice Physics Glitch. That sucks, Cotton. I, I mean, if I... Yeah, if I... Avoiding the two would be really easy. Avoiding that one might be... I might just grab it out of habit. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, if I have save game enabled, then I could just roll back, but... If I need to, but... I just hope it wouldn't be a situation where I just, like, do... Like, I just grab a lot of socks, but not any spatulas. And then, like, I grab the underwear, and then I'm like, oh, fuck, I need to reload the save. Good Sounds good, Latte. So you want to do, like, some guitar gliding shit or, like, hitting buttons early with, like, guitar and stuff from, like, earlier levels, I assume? Oh, yeah, VMS. That's true as well. I didn't think about that. Welcome. Never fear, good yeah, yeah, that's the issue, though, Cotton. Is I have a lot of muscle memory for climbing up Squidward's stupid ass nose and then, like, like collecting the underwear. Just another day in the life of and, and also, like, jumping over to the pineapple. That's. I think routing arcade would be hard. It depends on like how many VMS opportunities there are. Sky said that they're gonna probably do a run of mashup no major glitches. Um, 
I kind of want to wait for them to do that before I... Because... Where I'm at right now... Welcome. I'm as far in as any percent would get without, like, NMG's changes. Because I've learned up to the final level before Krusty Casino. And I, well, I guess I could do it because the token that you skip early to do later because of box stay is really fucking easy. So I, I could literally just do it then. But, other, like, I don't know. Like, I would prefer to, like, do, like... If something does not lose time to do later, I would rather move it later. Like, like I don't know what the token leniency is like, but I did say to Sky, like... You go... Because you have to backtrack to Skull Stadium anyway because of Guitar Glide. So, like, anything that, that goes at that point or lower, like, if there's anything... That is just as fast to do later as it is early. And it's really easy, because there's no token frames, and you might as well do it later. Manager coming through. So I'm hoping... Because I can't be asked to fucking rat that myself, bro. Hey. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie, like, I... Before even playing Second Strike, I just assumed they would kind of suck, because I just... You see JF and you're like, oh god, enemy spam mod Kaizo shit, and I don't like Kaizo mods. But then I, I loaded it, I loaded into Pineapple before stream to like make sure that it wasn't like crashing. And I saw that you needed to defeat enemies to get into the doors, and I was like, ah, oh, maybe there is more to this. And it, it, there was more to it. There was more to it than I. I knew that there was a uh, plank and knucklehead, but like. Yeah, no, like, I was really surprised. Like, it was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. At the end of the day, it's still not great or anything, but, like, it's definitely worth trying out, for sure. Like, it's not on the same level as, like, you know, like, r other really old Kaizo mods from other games that you would expect it to be, like, there's actually, like, content, you know? What the hell, XD? I played this when I was a kid. Awesome on you, bro, for you are speed running this childhood game. Was it your childhood game? Haha, <laughs> smiley face. Wow, I did not know you could do that skip, but how did you go like that? I mean, hi, good luck. You really got that down pretty fucking accurately. You, you even put a space between speed and running. I was like, very accurate. But yes, hello, clicks. Thank you for the good luck. Hope you are doing good today. Yeah, no, I, okay, I don't, I, again, I generally avoid Kaizo mods. That was definitely the most fun Kaizo mod I've ever played. He's always something close. I played SM64 Kaizo, which, by the way, crashes a lot, but, yeah, that shit's lame. Manager coming through. It's literally, like, you know what you have to do in TTC? You, you have to, like... You have to wait for a really slow hand yeah, to eventually turn to you, but in the meantime, there's shit, like, shooting at you, so you gotta, like, jump at the right time and stuff like that. It just takes, like, a minute for, for the fucking... And you have to do that for every single star as well. But, yeah. Uh, a lot of runs... People have tried running the game, and a lot of runs literally just die to... crashes and stuff. Or they'll be, like, plus 17 minutes out of a split because something just, like, was not working. Um... I've also played a, a Pokemon Blue Kaizo mod. The second gym leader had Pokemon over level 100, and you cannot level your Pokemon over 100, and the available Pokemon are terrible. And the AI cheats. I know this because I saved a state beforehand, right? I used Spore on one of the Pokemon, literally kept waking up to him one every single time. No matter how many times I loaded that state. Because I said it to just before, like... I clicked Spore. So it's not even like an RNG, it's not even like a frame RNG thing. Like that Pokemon, like, because Pokemon does have RNG enough. It wasn't even that. It's just, it's just programmed, the program just wake up immediately. Welcome. No worries, clicks. I wish you an epic show. Yep. 
Yeah, and it's like, oh, but uh, it's Kaizo, it's meant to be fucking bad. And it's like, well, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be bad. Again, like, Super Mario World Kaizo mods are usually pretty good because, like, they're built by, like, actual, like, experts of the game and, like, tested by experts of the game. So it's like, it's really hard platforming stuff where you really need to understand the mechanics to, like, play through it well. Not jumping at the right time for, like, a whole minute. Waiting for a fucking clock hand to show up. That's stupid. And then, and then it keeps shooting at you even after you're on the hand, by the way. Like, it's just... This is a job for a manager. Yeah, there's a few runs. Running Kaizo game. mods is, like... Boing. It's so easy to just end up, like, plus a million years out of a split. Welcome. Bro, right? Kaizo mod players, when after an hour of practice, they finally got the trick that they have to do first, uh... When they finally nail the trick that they have to do in the run. Yes, let's do attempts now, yes. Like, I wish you, like, have you seen SM74 Extreme Edition? Have you, have you watched, like, sometimes they, like, genuinely, like, plus 30 minutes out of a split, like, actually. And, like, they'll practice it, like, a lot. And then it'll just straight up take, like, seven attempts to even get. Not get fast, get. Like, the point of the run, then, is hardly to go fast. It's mostly just don't fucking die. That's mostly what it turns into. Because those extreme SM64 hacks, like... They'll never be done deathless, so literally, like, that's the time save for the, for the most part. Obviously, in the early game, you're gonna go a little fast, but, like... When you get to, like, mid-game, yeah, it's literally, like, don't die. Like, in theory, in a task, you could save, like, minutes on, like, every star with, like, how long they take as well. But obviously, like, you're not gonna play like that, ever. Uh, I'd like to wake up now. Oh. You know when I said, like... Oh, imagine if I did a stream where I didn't do truck skip and I buffered the creek token so I could get, like, loads of runs to sandwich driving. Uh, I forgot that this would still be an issue. <laughs> I would only want to do that for, like, one stream, but I think it'd be fun because that, then that'd be, like, a... Not, like, a low-reset stream, but just, like significantly increasing the odds because again that's a combined two seconds it makes you wonder like how much of a difference that would like truly make for two seconds like i think the consistency would go up like a lot which for two seconds might be worth it because when you think about it right we need out of bounds save seven and i don't do that shit. so it's like well, it saves seven, so yeah, it's like more than triple the time save. But that's because you get one shot at it, it's like, you know, an early game. Like, a little lenient. Uh, it's in mid-game. Well, depends on the category. But, yeah. Minus spelling mistake, deadly force authorized. Authorized D... This is a job for... You know what I might Okay. I think next attempt, I'll, like, not do truck skip, and I will buff a Kree token, and I'll just see how it goes. Next attempt. Hey. Uh, I'd like to wake up now. That is indeed a Chris message. Oh, 
all done. Double hold on. All right, now, no truck skip. And then creek buffer. Watch it still, watch it just die to the buttons in, de in depression. Like, just completely defeat the whole fucking point of the experiment. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Me when I'm in the content competition, but my my opponent is a cop. Well, Can't get it, content cop. I'm gonna keep the experiment going because it didn't get to depression, so it doesn't count. I went too far right. Welcome. Actually, good meme. Yeah. Like in my quest to like archive anything that wasn't funny, like I feel like it resulted like in me accidentally archiving because like at the time those memes. Oops. Okay, well, I shouldn't have reset because I went for truck skip. That was stupid of me, but, like... Like, I, I feel like there were memes that ran their course back then that are funny now, but they're still in archive. I've never, like, unarchived a meme, though. That's, like, if, when they're archived, like, they're in the graveyard at that point. No monster reborn to bring them back. Bro, that meme is goaded. I don't even remember saying that. I literally have no memory saying that, and I think it's goaded. Bro, I missed the fucking easiest fucking thing in the game. Alright, the appears the truck skip is... Uh, not doing truck skip is not making as much of a difference as I had hoped. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. I don't remember that one. Yep. Um, hello, Panda. What's up? Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not the manager. Manager coming through. Dude, okay, I think I'm actually just bad. I got rid of the major run killer and I still can't get a run. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. Shock humor allegations. I haven't really heard someone describe it as that before, but I suppose that it kind of makes sense. Just another day in the life of a manager. <laughs> I've seen pictures of his room. It's like, it was like so dirty. He had like ketchup stains on the wall. And like, he had like a mattress with no like bed frame on it. And next, and it, it was just two mattresses st stacked on top of each other. And then he had like a third mattress next to those mattresses for his dog or something and then like the floor was just covered in stuff and the, and the fucking the room was huge as well so I don't really like understand why he couldn't just put some of that stuff away Cleanliness is next to managerliness. One seventeen, no cheese. You, 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 you. Well, I'd like to wake up now. Go no swimming cheese. just after eating. Uh, 
Uh, just some guy that, like, used to be in the community. This is years ago. Alright, that completes the experiment. Because, see, look, I actually get to play the game now, isn't it crazy? For like two seconds of time loss. Although, to be fair, I, I was assuming when I say two seconds, it's factoring like, like a perfect truck skip, which is rare. So it's probably like just under two seconds of time loss, which makes it even better. And again, I actually get to play the game. I, I just can't convince myself to like do this permanently because those two seconds are really fell in the early game. Oh my god. Okay. It's, uh, it's parodying how, um... Welcome. It's just, like, parodying old community the meme. That, uh, the one you had up just then. Anyway, it seems like I still can't play the game even after I drop the bad day. stuff, so I might as well just do the bad stuff, day. as seen by how this is a successful truck skip. Isn't that crazy? Short slide from manager to, well, not manager. A manager is always prepared to see what. This is a job for a manager. I love opening presents. Hello again, Lena. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. This is a job for a manager. I feel like a lot of people use streams as like background noise. Like majority of viewers for like any stream really. I s nah, I swear I was like in that exact spot when you said that exact message, two messages word for word before. Swear down. I swear to god you said accidentally open Steam Day Ruined as I was in that exact spot before. And then and then I went on a bit of a tangent about how Steam has to update like every single time you open it. I don't know, well, a few streams ago, I swear that happened. And I don't think there was a, a flights message above, but I swear the message above those two set of messages was also from a red name. I also swear that as well. Um... Because, like, you, you said accidentally opened Steam. And then in like one second, I was like, bro, there's no way, I swear. Like, red name, and then those two messages literally word for word. And Latte. Cause like I remember, I remember complaining about Steam updating every time you open it. Like you don't, you don't have Steam open for like two hours. It has to update. Is like, bro? It happens a lot, to be fair, but. SpongeBob. 
Ah, uh, bro, you know what? I, I had a dream last night that, um... Well, I dreamt of, like, two... Th like, because I don't really remember what it was exactly. I think I was on an adventure again, but... I think I, like, tried to riz up some girl, and then, like, she literally fucking died. So, uh, yeah. Not in, like, a gruesome way, but, like... I, I was thinking of rizzing some girl up. Cause, uh, yeah, we were in, like, the same, like, party of people, like, on an adventure. And then she kind of, like, died off screen, I guess. And I was like... I didn't care that she died, I was like, damn, I can't really count Riz up anymore. I was like, fuck, bro. I feel like dreams are too, like... They're too warped from reality to, like, for me, for me at least, to, like, generally misremember something from a dream and think it genuinely happened in real life. Like, obviously you can think that when you've only been awake for, like, 20 seconds, but I mean, like... When you're actually fully awake, I feel like it'd be hard to, because, like, dream, in, even in dreams, like, even if things aren't completely, like, off the rails, they can still make no sense, like, I, oh, this person was in a dream, but I haven't talked to them for years, or, like, this person's dead, or, like, anything like that. I'm at school, but I don't go to school, so there's, like, no way that this could have happened. And, because I, like, after I wake up, Obviously, when I'm in a dream, I almost never know I'm dreaming. But when I'm awake, it's, like, really obvious to me when something was in a dream. I guess just the way that my dreams are and the way I feel like... Yeah. You know. Oh, I, I've had, uh, I've had a dream before. Where, like, I'm 99% sure I had that exact dream when I was younger. Because, like, even in the dream, I was like, I know how all this stuff is gonna play out. I've had this dream before. I wasn't... It wasn't a vivid enough thing. Like, usually when I, when I realize that I had, like, a vivid dream... Oh, I'm having a vivid dream. I usually... Even in the dream itself, I usually forget, like, 10 minutes later. But, like... I was just- I was, like, purposely doing things to, like, make the events play out the same way. Because, like, I- I swear to god I had that dream before as well. Obviously, now I can barely remember it, but it was, like... I was just, like, chilling at, like, some weird house place thing. And then, like, I eventually was down my nan's house. And at the time, I was a pretty vivid memory of, like, the room that I was in. And just, like, just all these things. And then in the and then like because that, that was when I was young. That was when I was like eight or something. And then I had this dream like months ago, probably like a year ago. And I can just and I can remember it like, oh yeah, this is gonna happen and this is gonna happen and this is gonna happen. It's like. Yep, 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 yep. I don't think all dreams have to like mean something, but I I think they can ha generally have some purpose, some meaning. A lot of the time. Like, the school dreams are obviously, like, you know, miss the people I talk to in school, all that. I feel like I should go back to education or some shit. Wow, I'm so goaded. And then, obviously, nightmares can mean a lot of things, like, bad things, but I don't really get nightmares. Yeah. Like, one of you. Um, 
It sucks that a strat is like not viable anyway, because it's like it's cool. You don't be viable in like Chi Hundo and like 3k all extras. And maybe I think it's also viable in 3k Hundo. Yeah, it should be. It should be like a little faster. Actually, yeah, I don't know, because then you can't two frame the token. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um Repeating an event. I don't know what you mean by event, but for me, I guess that'd be school. Or like, or like, hanging around with with my old friend group. But like, with the knowledge most of the time that we haven't hung out in years, and then we finally start talking again, and then it's always the feeling of why didn't we start talking again sooner? That happens quite a lot. Sometimes I don't know that it's like I haven't talked to him in ages in the dream, but a lot of the time I know I haven't talked to him in ages. I, I had something like that like a couple of days ago. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. I'm feeling like more of a man already. Boing. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. I don't know if you mean, like, have I learned more manager of the run, Pepper? I assume that's what you're asking. The answer's no, because, like, I was kind of chilling last night. Plus, I I was redoing some lines. Like, I'm at the point now where it's gonna be, it's gonna be a slow process, because it's, like, editing. You know, like, I'm getting back into editing. Um... I also would rather low-key wait for Sky to make the route so that I just put in, like, the least amount of effort possible. I actually meant to do a no-reset mashup run last night. Like, two where I've learned, like, Deadly Driving or whatever it's called. I just meant to, like, learn up to that. However, I... Forgot? Until after I shut down the PC and I was like, God damn it, like. Uh, well, I'd like to wake up now. Coach. <laughs> so no, I've only learned up to deadly driving still. The game is still triggering me a little bit, and there's no token frames anymore, but it's still like a million times better than before. I hate the cycles and stuff in Sands of Time. They're way worse than they look. And, um... The box jump in No, Ch in no Coast, or the Cheese Coast, is terrible. Because you have to have, like, almost perfect jump spacing for that. And, like, quick reaction. If Mystic is the one I'm thinking of, I've seen Sky lose time there a lot. Like, it seems, like, weirdly hard. I don't have the energy anymore, Cotton, bro. Like, I could route it, or I could literally wait for Sky to do it. Like, today. While I edit. Like... Hello, Sanitaries. Thank you for a good look. I saw that ledge grab coming. Whatever, it's still good enough. But dude, that means it just would have been like super goaded depression if it didn't ledge grab. The fact that it was still like, a, like it was like a mid to it. Yeah, no, that would have been so good. SpongeBob. I haven't. I haven't seen vegan, like, 
So vegans are pretty fucking annoying, but I've never heard them say that it's just as bad as killing a human. I mean... Well, I mean, I've, I've seen, I guess you could argue, like, PETA make, like, extreme arguments like that. Ta like, but they usually don't, like, directly say stuff like that. They usually just have, like, ah, that, like, kind of depicts that kind of thing. But, like, I feel like a lot of vegans know that, the, at the very least, like, there is a difference between humans and animals. It's just that, like, they think that even in spite of, like, in spite of that, we should still, like, not kill animals. I feel like that's generally the point they're trying to get across, but, like... I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be, like, toxic about it and be like, I'm gonna eat twice as much meat today so that the vegan didn't make a difference, but I, you know, I'm just, like, I'm chilling. I'm chilling with my chicken, and I'm gonna eat my chicken, and it's gonna taste good. And that's, like, that's just how it's, that's just what I'm doing. Food, le good. Shadow Shores and Arcade runs. Well, yeah, I have no interest in routing Arcade. If you want to route Arcade, then, uh, be my guest. From memory, I, 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 if I recall correctly, um, Shadow Shores is pretty damn long. If you are gonna make a uh, mashup, mashed up uh, practice mod, by the way, that'd be kind of goaded. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right for now. that, yeah, for that double hit and XD boost. And this time, like more than more people would actually get use out of it, other than like me, as well. So it's actually like useful for multiple people. The problem with, like, the, the vanilla movie practice mod is that, like, it's practically only useful to me because it's so fucking specific. Like... Like, what is actually... Like, okay, rub it up skip. Okay, that's, like, one thing. And then, like, that's basically it. Everything else is, like, a higher level shit that people wouldn't want to do. It's basically just rub it up skip. And you could use it to practice, like, Bulldozer more easily, I guess. But, like, that's still, like... Like... That's, like, one of the last... Like, one of... I don't know if... The, yeah, I'd say at least compared to Fast Sandwich Out of Bounds, I'd call Bulldozer, like, an intermediate strat. But it's, like, one of the hardest intermediate strats. You can still avoid it for, like, an eternity. Maybe there could also be like three meter practice mod where it's, it, you just start the bottom of the of the thing with the tube, but like that's yeah, that's not really that useful. Yeah, Shadow's pace is like kind of fucked. Mashup's pacing is a bit fucked in general. Obviously, like, it's faster in the early game than it is in the late game. That makes sense, but then it's, like... You just have a bunch of, like, six, seven... Like, tokens start becoming one per minute, whereas in the early game, they're, like, one every, like, 40 seconds or something. Yeah, no one else uses the practice mod, like... Oofsta was going to use it for, for Fast Sandwich Out of Bounds, and then he quit. So that would have been two people. 
But yeah, like... If you were to download it yourself, the only thing you'd really get out of it is Rubber Dub Scoop, which is already fast to practice. I just asked for it because, like, I've already done it thousands of times. Like, that actually would have made a difference to, like... You know, if I could cut out that little bit of fat every single time I attempted it. You could also change, like, some things, like... Have a button for a dumb jump or whatever, but like at that point, it's like you just be making a practice mod, and in the mod's oh, current God. state, it's not like even worth releasing because it's just like no one can use it. And then, like, if people if you release it to the public, then obviously they're like, oh, this thing is bugged, why doesn't it have this? And then you have to like update it with no compensation this time. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that shit's coming out like ever. I also don't think that's coming out. Yeah, at that point, Cod, you could literally just, like, release, like, the, ru the rubber dub skip practice mod on its own with like the bare essential files to get it working like that's yeah that's never happening it would eventually get to the point where there's too many fucking buttons already used up in a level to like, even know what to like do with some of them in the first place Yeah. Exactly. Also, like, how many people, like, play on OG at the, at the beginning to intermediate level and, uh, like, go into mod their Xbox and, like, they actually want to use the practice mod? Like, no one plays a fucking game, let alone people with modded Xboxes who, like, really care about that shit. You lost the files. I could just give you my, uh, my files. I honestly, like, wouldn't mind doing that. It doesn't take long to just, like... Do, like, two minutes. I probably should do that anyway, because I'm bound to want something from you eventually. Oh, that was almost 2.11. That would've been goaded. Canyon skip practice mod. True. Might as well have a truck skip practice mod at that point, and then a slide skip practice mod. Like a boss. Oh, dude, you know what I just remembered that I fucking hate about mashup runs, right? Because iPie removed uh, the upgrade menu to, like, the white button or the black, I don't know which one, one of the two color buttons. Um, guess which button, well, basically, RB is one of those buttons on the 360 controller. And, like, because my finger is usually, like, it's just frequently over, like, the R trigger... I accidentally press RB a lot, which in vanilla doesn't mean shit. But for mashup runs, I'm just opening the menu. And I press it so softly that I don't even know that I pressed it until the menu's open. Like, I don't even, I don't even, like, I can't quickly react to it. Imagine you play the game and very occasionally a random menu pops up that you have to cl click X on. Like, like on your PC, for example, like you're playing a game pop up and, and the only way to continue playing the game is close pop up. That's like the equivalent to me. Cause it just it's I press it so soft I wish you can't detect when I press it.
iPi said he doesn't want to update the game until there's like a major thing that needs to be fixed. And if there's a major thing fixed, it'll probably be worse for speedrunning too. You wouldn't even be able to, like, practice the marshmallow cycle correctly. I remember Latte saying something about, like, the marshmallow cycle. Yeah, I don't think they cared. Though, Latte, because... I feel like that would have already, like, a like, the update would already be out by now, if that was the case. Like, I don't- I don't think I probably could, like, sees that as a major problem. Game-breaking bugs. Well, I was gonna suggest, what if I just- I- I assume, like, the buttons assigned, like, I could just change it myself, and it wouldn't be file tampering, because it's an- like, well, it, it'd be, like, an equivalent of, like, not changing anything, so it's like... Be like a fine change to make to my own files, I assume. Because that's like effectively like a. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but it, it, like that. Alright, well then it'd be up to iPyland to decide if those things are big enough to warrant that kind of stuff. Grandma overhaul update, for real. Yeah, I just assumed you couldn't go out of bounds there, but if you can, that's just kind of funny. Finally, out of bounds. Would it be useful in some type of, like, all end level tokens mod? That's kind of quirky, Zep. Unlikely, bruh. My face when.
Well, uh, go bitch to iPi about it. And maybe they will make those changes. Also, um... I hope they take my suggestion into consideration, where it was like... I found one. Hold on. Did Mickey bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? Hey, the desert. Like, you know like the promo thing on the titles, on the main menu if you like, on the title screen if you leave it too long? It was just the regular one, but I said it should be replaced with the one that was uh, the iPi made that was uploaded to YouTube, which makes way more sense. Because then it's effectively serving the same purpose, but it's actually for that game. So I think that'd be a good change as well. Also, we were talking the other day about, like, making a menu that, like, patches token frames, right? But then I remembered something, right? There's a- there's like a spatula animation skip mod code thing. Like, we could probably just make that work for tokens. Like, I don't know if, if that does exist for tokens, but, like, if it doesn't, you can make it exist. Granted, like, I'm sure some tokens in that mod are made in a way where it's, like, the warp for the task is only, like, activated, like, a couple seconds into the animation and stuff like that, but... I like stopped fast, like I stopped tapping A because I was worried that I was gonna like jump in midair if I, cause like I could tell that the animation for the ledge grab was almost over. So I like let go for a little too long and then when I finally like actually press it again, it was already too late. I, like, it seemed like a pretty, like, random comment, but iPi said that they were thinking of making, like, a, um, like, a weird mashup mod where it's, like, it's, like, mashup, but it's more catered to speedrunning in the way that it's, like, built. So, like, token animation skips, like, or, like, insta pickups would kind of fix it. Yeah, that's actually true. Um, in Skull Stadium, Sky went to the right and then went on the trampoline to fight the boss. And at first, I genuinely thought it was because... Um... I thought it was because they were grabbing the extra health because they ended the boss... Because they had two health. And then they picked up the health and then they ended the boss with one health so they would have died if they didn't pick it up so I was like oh okay the boss just must just be hard but no it's because there's a warp there that you go to later and I didn't know until like I didn't know until I, I was like there's got to be an easier way to practice this and then I thought about like oh wait the sky go like move to the right for like two seconds because of the warp uh, it was correct also, yeah, like, not knowing where an end-level token is was, like, my biggest criticism of the mod, personally. Remember I got cocked out of a couple of, like, driving tokens because of that?
what's up, why? Um... You get used to it after a while. Yeah, I, I don't really remember ever really seeing this task is now open to play. I'm playing bad today. Well, I wasn't at first. Well, I mean, the run was bad, and then I recovered it, and then it died. But like this, yeah. It's not like I'm not getting runs going, like, literally at all. It's not like I'm stuck in depression, but, like... I love Girls Kiss. I actually forgot about that emote. Hold on. Yeah, I was really... Well, I got... Bro, I got fucking bullied so hard in Sands of Time. Dementia Foundation, it's like, I don't know, bro. It's confusing. Also, hello, Sky. Thank you for the good luck, bro. How's it going? You gonna play No Major Glitches today? I really don't want to route it. Yay! Yay! I don't have to do. I don't have to put in any effort. Yay! Basic. Also, this might sound. This might also sound lazy, but like, it's really annoying. Like, having to like see what your PB did. Like, not your current one. Like the the 108, and then being like. Alright, let's look through the server to see if there any advancements have been made to, like, this level since the PV. That got pretty fucking annoying, because the answer's usually no, but, like, there were some yeses, so I... Then, obviously, it was important then for me to try and catch your runs live, but you go live at, like, really weird times. Basically, like, it was kind of... Short slide from manager to, well, yeah, so it'd be nice, it. like, especially now that you're, like, manager doing all the stuff through. that's been found. It'd just be nice to, like, have... To see what... That, like, plus, like, the route is figured out, too. Like... This is a job for a manager. One minute. I'm feeling like more of a man already. Here's the way that I see it, Sky. If we all collectively agree that it doesn't exist, it doesn't exist, right? Then we don't have to worry about it. I don't think no one would do a run. Uh, I don't think anybody would not do a run. Of it. Like... If it were ran as much as, like, non-hack games, I think, like, somebody... Because it's not that late in the run. It's not like it's 40 minutes in. I think someone would do it. Welcome back, Wilkon. Yeah, because, like, if you get it, like, second try, you'd still save a little bit of time, I assume. So I think people... If it got popular enough, it's just inevitable that someone would do it. Um, but as long as we're all, like... Collectively... Not doing it... Then there's nothing to worry about. Fuck you, Wilcon. Well, yeah, so basically, what we have to, like... We have to, like, not let competition get the best of it. Like, if if you... If we did NMG runs and my time was, like, 20 seconds behind yours, I was like, oh, I should just go for XD boost now to get the jump. I should not have a mentality like that. If we all just agree to not do it, then there's no issue. Yeah, exactly. Especially if that thing, like, 
barely adds difficulty or it's just straight up removes difficulty in, in some cases like that. Um... Yeah, routing can be hard as fuck. Like, I remember trying to make the ETU route for vanilla, obviously, and um, my first revision of the route just like forgot that I don't have throw by the time I tried to do three meter. It it took it took like two days of just like trying to figure that shit out. But yeah, I guess in that case, Sky, like... Because I was thinking, like, ah, oh, fuck, like, do I really want to learn it when there's fucking next deep boost? Like, do I want to learn Masha? But if you're just not, if, if you're thinking of not even doing it, I don't have anything to worry about. No major cringe will be put to rest for now. However, I will take a look at no major cringe some other time if if, all, if things go to shit. I don't know, like, for a fact when, like, I'll take my days off, but I... I plan to take Saturday off this week and stream every other day of the week for the remainder of it. That is the current plan. Could change, but is unlikely to. Um, with mashup, that'd be different because, like, I know the engine. Also, yeah, Naza. I mean, like, the thing is, like, imagine if you found Rubber Dove Skip and then didn't show it because you thought, like, we wouldn't be able to get it consistent. And now it's, like, a really good part of the run. Like. I mean, well, at the intermediate, at, at the intermediate level, it's terrible, but, like. I really do think at the high level it's like made the game a lot better. I think we should turn around. No major glitches suffered for it, but like people don't play that category anyway. Like Rub It Up Skip is definitely like a good addition to the game. It like really improved the pacing of the run and like it's just fucking good trick that's hard. Like it's just yeah. Also yeah, hiding info is like generally not like a good thing. Now if somebody found guitar early, I would want them to fucking hide it like their life depended on it because that would actually ruin, objectively ruin no pull storage. So that is the one exception. If you if you find guitar early, don't fucking tell anybody. Take it to your fucking grave, right? Everything else, yeah, you should probably tell us. Welcome. All right, goodbye, Latte. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, exactly, uh, Sky. Like, I feel like NMG will help the game in the long run. Because, like... You'll hit, like, a barrier quicker, and then you have to go and, like, actually find strats, rather than just being like, Yeah, I just need to get more two frames. I just need a land XD boost first try. I think there will probably be some points in the run's history where, like, it just stays stagnant for a while because we can't find anything. But there's always something to find. Movie's a linear-ass game, and we found so much. It just shows, like, you never know what you could find next. Like I reckon, like Welcome. even if the even if that category like hits dry moments, it'll definitely bounce back Never eventually fear, multiple times. Short 
short slide from manager to well Cheese Coast. Okay, yeah, that's fair, Sky, but I just mean like job for a manager. To see what I always bring it up, but it's so true. I said that I don't think another major reroute for any percent will ever happen again. Literally, like, two or three hours later, BBBH backwards got rediscovered. And also, obviously, reroute as well. That was before poor storage and Mindy Skip. Like... Manager coming through. Pixels too small, kind of sedge. Hey. You just want me to play mashup. I'm busy being productive, making videos, bruv. Unlike a certain someone. Pardon. Bitch. Welcome. That's not the case. Flights, I said it in a server where the person was not allowed in because they were banned from the server, if I recall correctly. It really was. You know, the, the annoying thing is that like, the guy that found that, he was pretty bad. Like, he should not... Like, he was community banned, it makes a lot of sense, if you, like, knew what kind of guy he was like. He was an amazing strat hunter, actually amazing. One of the very best we've ever had. Which annoys me, because I'm fucking terrible at strat hunting. Like, my- the hours I have in this game are, like, very high. Yeah, the things I found. I mean, I found a decent amount of routing stuff, but like for the most part, like when it comes to strats, I found like two things, and even then, actually three things. And one of them was just like got Im got Im improved on by someone else, like like a year later. So it's like I only found like half of the strat effectively. Now that guy, like nobody talked to him, nobody liked him. He was just an amazing strat hunter. Like I definitely think it was coincidental. Also, like, finding a reroute like that, like, it was so major that, like, you would, if you found it, like, you wouldn't pass it on to him. You would, like, definitely want to, like, claim the glory yourself. And also, like, the, the way that he did it was, like, slow. I mean, it was fast enough, but we had, we... It was questionable, like, how much, like, if it was actually fast in the moment while we were, like, retiming it. And then people found, uh, a bunch of people found strats that, like, made it fa even faster. And then it was, like, very clear that everybody should be doing this from now on. But I'm just, you know. It was, it was just, he was annoyingly a really good strat hunter. He found poor storage. He found like guitar glide clips, I think. Found BBBH backwards. Jumping, jumper, jumper, I know he found some of this shit too. I can't remember what it top of my head though. I thought that IP update would already be out by now. I would have figured. Any no cheese strats I don't do? No. Well, I can't do the guitar glide. Uh, no, guitar clip, obviously, or the up clip. I physically cannot do that, but like anything I have the ability to do, I do. There's a movie Discord, if you- uh, hold on. There you go. Yeah, no problem. So 
It's really good that people, like, have the option to, like, actually work on Industrial Park, like... That's really good. It'll, like, massively excel, like, the updates, and, and we're, like, it'll just... It'll just make IP a lot better, a lot quicker. That is actually, like, a really big deal. Ext well, well, yeah, I don't cotton, but the fastest thing you can do in no cheese isn't even that strat. I could do the doing the lag clip is still fast in the extras version of the of the category. I, when you get to do clips, it's just that it's really aid, so I don't do it because it saves like three seconds. So it's terrible. But you could say, like, Pipple, you were on the grind, bro. Why weren't you grinding that strat? It's like... Um... You had to, like, get a lag clip off of, like, a button when the button was barely off the fucking floor. Like, you know how hard, like, clipping off of, like, a box is? It was even lower to the ground than that. So it was really bad, right? And, like... I wasn't doing that shit, bro. Like, if I just played good for the rest of the run, I'd just compensate for that time loss anyway, which is exactly what I did. The only thing that I'm doing is your mom. Like a boss. Like a boss. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. I why would I kill the jellyfish? The it's a short slide from manager to well, not manager. This is a job for a manager. To see what Yeah, sometimes you just feel like two streams ago I felt pretty tired. Manager coming through. Manager coming through. A job for a manager. Hey. What's up, Sponge? Oh, I'd like to wake up now. You can get more energized with like a proper diet or whatever, but it's just so much easier to just intake caffeine and then like Welcome. Yeah. Never yeah I'm... Citizens of Bikini Bottom. The I'm doing okay, thanks. Uh... Yep. Pretty average Manager. day, I would say. Well, I got a run this Sunday, too, but the run wasn't good. But, like, it's still good enough. But, like, it died. Um. It's a short slide yeah. from manager to, well, not manager. Why do they wiggle around like that? Uh, have you. Okay, Sky, thank you for the. Oh, he didn't say good luck. Fuck off, then. I hope you run dies. I hope the game crashes. Good luck on your run. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, 
adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. For me personally, like, caffeine does either seems to, like, not do anything, or, like, it, it, like, makes my body, like, twitch and stuff, makes me uncomfortable. I never have, like, a ton of it, but, like, every, like, ten energy drinks or something, like, the tenth one will just fuck me up for a few hours. Like, it just makes me, like, uncomfortable. Like, it makes me feel like... Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to... I'm still annoyed that, like, they still have not brought Grape over here. Like, that was, like, the first one I wanted to try. And we do not have it. Like how? Oh yeah, I went in. I went in some corner shop yesterday, and I walked in right, and there was they were selling Prime for like one pound each at the front, and I was like, damn, this place is cheap. Let's go look for other drinks, right? I was hoping they had like American drinks, because corner shops with American drinks usually sell them for weirdly cheap. So I was like, all right, let's have a look. Not only do they have no foreign drinks at all, not even American, like, literally no foreign drinks at all. They have Prime at the back, and they were selling it for four quid. So I think what happened is that they just had Prime in stock for too long, and they tried to get rid of some of it. So they had, they were selling some of it for a quid. Which is kind of funny, if true. But yeah, so it was, like, an actually, like, really overpriced corner shop. Corner shops are either, like, really expensive, or they're, like, really cheap. Yeah, depending on where you live, it could, it could take, like, forever until I actually see Prime. Now, how much is half a gallon? I'm going to maybe have to look this up. Thank you, Wilcon. Half a gallon in liters. Oh, I know. American liters are different from UK liters. I need to change it. I can't rely on that measurement. I don't know why, but, like, leader in the UK is different from, well, for Europe in, as a whole is different from in America, so... They gotta check in milliliters. Bro. 1900 milliliters? What the fuck? Are you alive? What the fuck? That's like fucking almost four monsters. How did you manage that? Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. <laughs> it's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. It's my favorite. Bro, I felt bad for drinking, like, like, 40% of a can of Arizona iced tea. Welcome. Yesterday, I was like, that's too much, bro. Yep. 
I feel like that probably put a pretty big strain on your body. I mean, if you are not drinking that much anymore, um, then that would be good. Manager coming through. Manager coming through. Me when, me when, me when. We're almost to 6,200 attempts, that's kind of cool. Add my uh, weekly not water drinks. So I gotta wait until next week now. I the Arizona was two months out of day, but it tasted fine. However, unfortunately, Arizona do me mid. So I knew I wasn't gonna drink the whole fucking thing. So I, I just drank like a couple hundred, like probably like 300 milliliters of it, and then I drank. Uh, the 200 milliliter bottle of Coke. It was a glass bottle. Dude, it cost a quid. It was an import and it cost a quid. And it's sugar vision as well. It's crazy. Um, and then I had fucking four Krispy Kreme donuts, so I've had too much sugar. I gotta chill now. Well, I had to I had to eat the remaining two today or else they were gonna expire. Like, by the end of today, probably. Because, like... Okay, so normally it's like six quid for like six small like Krispy Kreme donuts, right? But like I got them from like a food market that's known for being really cheap. But the problem is that like they sell stuff with like the expiration day is like pretty close, you know? Like some of the stuff is good with the expiration day, but like other things like not so much. The donuts expire like that day. But of course, you know, the sugar, they're gonna be fine the next day, but like the day after that, like you're really pushing it at that point, so I knew I had to eat the remaining two today. So yeah, a lot of sugar in my system in the past like like 15 hours or something, but I'll just like not have sugar like tomorrow. That'll fix the problem, Lamau. Yeah, it can be, uh... SpongeBob. I kinda- I kinda- Dude, why did I mash A? I just sound instead of pressing B. 
It feels pretty satisfying to, like... I guess, like, eat something that you know will, like, fuck you up later on, because it's, like... I feel like a champion for, like, eating it or whatever. Like, it's, like, satisfying in the moment, like... That, that moment of freedom, almost, like... You know, worrying about, like, the health effects you're just eating. It feels pretty good. One hundred thirty-five pounds is not a lot, to be fair. Like that is a noticeable gap from one hundred twenty-three, but like one hundred thirty-five in itself, like seems fine. Hello, Dulcy. Thank you for the good luck. What's up? My metabolism used to be, like, the go, and then it just fucking died a few years ago and never recovered. I'd kind of love to have it back. I would also love if this trick worked for once. I'm busy. One twenty three could even be like underway depending on your height. Um I mean I figure you know that though. But yeah. Um Obviously stress eating is not good. Welcome Crash, now the game didn't crash. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. I usually, like, when I mean something big, yeah, like, I usually Short eat. Slide from manager to, well, not manager. This is a job for a manager. Until, like, my stomach, like, what? begins hurting, and then I stop, like, usually, but then at that point, it's, like, it's still building up, like, the food I, pr like, it's still processing food I've eaten. Nothing like a little man type stuff. Greasy food tastes bussin'. Well, po like, Pog is still a popular emo form, um... Well, not compared to before, but like it's still like there's still a lot of pog emotes. Hey. There are some people who like only snack, and there are some people who only eat like big meals. But I kind of I do both. Well, I've kind of stopped doing that. Well, eh. What usually happens is that, like... I eat one meal, and then after stream I just eat, like, four snacks, and then that basically adds up to a meal, and then that's what all I eat. So when it comes to sessions of eating, I eat twice a day, I guess. I have a pog emo actually. I forgot about it. Welcome. 
That's a pretty big difference. You know, like, it also depends on, like, what you eat, but, yeah, at that point, like, yeah, that's bound to make a difference, kind of regardless of what you eat, like, fucking, like, like, a 2,000 calorie difference. If anything, I'm kind of surprised you only made it up to 135 pounds. If I am hungry after stream, I might actually eat fruit. I might try to be a good boy. I can't remember if I complained about this on stream, but... Uh, I'd like to wake up now. Like, my parents just keep buying me chocolate, like, all the fucking time, and I cannot remember the last time that there was, like, no chocolate for me to eat that they like when it comes to chocolate that they pretty much specifically bought for me or at least like for me to eat the majority of it i could not remember the last time i was able to eat it fast enough for them to run out of fucking chocolate to give me they keep buying it i asked them to stop to like buy me like less chocolate and that was months ago and then and, and, like it didn't take long until they got back into just giving me the same amount again <laughs> We have these chocolate digestive biscuits that have been in the fridge for months and months, and they have not been opened because I can't get to them. I can't get to them because there's always something to eat, but I can't eat through the chocolate fast enough to get to the fucking thing. Because then, like, when I get- when- I, after I'm done eating one chocolate thing, which takes me a few days, then I just buy something else. So I had to tell him recently, like, just straight up don't buy me any chocolate for, like, three weeks at least. Easter's coming, too. And it's just like... It's just... Don't laugh at me. How much of a man do I have to be? And also my Nan, you can't do anything about her, so... She bought us some chocolate stuff yesterday, or actually, I think it was today. Well, we-, we she bought it, like, yesterday, and then we got it from her today, but yeah. SpongeBob. making me really not look forward to, uh, like, like, my dad reminded me that, like, British summertime time, we're entering British summertime time zone in, like, a couple weeks, and then all I can really think about is, oh, it's gonna start getting hot. Yeah, no, it's Fahrenheit. Most of my viewers are Americans, so, like, when they say the temperature, it's, like... I mean, you can tell from how high it is if it's, like... Or if they're just American. Like, if, it, if it's, uh... I 
manage a lottery. They can do the sulfuric acid like lasted ages. Yeah, Frogfish is like the first one down in the mid. Like, it, it's the one closest up to the, uh, to the, to no cheese that hasn't been renamed. Okay, um. Yeah, I, I occasionally take, like, some tablets that fix the stomach acid reflux shit because I have it a lot. Because, like, there's, like, acids and alkalines or whatever the fuck they're called. And, like, the majority of what I eat is not alkaline, so it, like, has an imbalance or something. Um... Cause, cause the movie. Yeah, no, cause. I mean, yeah, it fucking sucks when you have like the windows down in the car, and then like another car passes you, and it's like the world's fucking smelliest fucking car. Like, if eventually, like, it was all if if all cars like was switched to electric, that'd be one thing. That finally go away. It's just like the hard. Like sometimes I can just tell that the car's gonna fucking reek. So I literally like, if I'm like walking on the side of the street, so like I'll sometimes literally just hold my breath as the car goes past. You already know. You, like you already know when you see it. You have to type the word in full. Well, I stopped getting as much acid reflux when I just, like, was snacking less. Cause then the body had like more time to like readjust that shit. I also, one thing that I would sometimes do if it was really bad, I would like, cause I know that apple's alkaline, so we should just like, eat an apple or two, and then that would help.
Yeah, it's the uh, collective total. The commands never even, like, did the job because, like... People, like, the reason why, like, asking to VC with me became a meme is because people, it was kind of weird how often people would, like, ask. So, like, the commands were kind of just added to be, like, like, a little, uh, in, in a more joking way, but still being, like, don't ask. But, like, by the time they got added, like, nobody was ever actually, like, unironically asking anymore anyway. So they never served the purpose. But, like, so people just use the command. Oh, my God. People just use the command as, like, a joke now. I mean, that's all it's ever been, really. But, like, the amount of people that used to ask back in the day, like, I, it, was, it, was, it was way too often. It would be, like, some person, like, you'd be in the VC with, like, I'd be in the VC with, like, a friend. And then, the, and then this guy would, like, who I've, like, never seen in my life. you would just be like, can I join the VC? And, like, I literally don't know who you are. I do not know who you are. Why would, why would I let you in the VC with my friend? Me and my friend. And not, like, why would... Why, as a matter of fact, if I was willing to add, like, anyone, why would it just be me and one other person? Like, wouldn't it be, like, a VC of, like, fucking ten people at that point? Like, why, why do you think it's special enough to be added to the VC? Like an awkward thing to ask. Because I feel, because I feel like a lot of the time, I mean, I'd always say no, but I feel like a lot of the time they'd interpret it as me being like mean. But it's like, I literally don't know, you You could you could join the VC and say the fucking N-word for all I know, but also, like, I don't know what you like. Do not know you at all. Could be annoying, could be loud, could be cringe. Like... Why would I let you in the VC? Lack of bottoms. I assume it's because it's at like the bottom of the ocean, but yeah. So like it was obvious. Uh, Alright, well. So my time was bad and my ring's bad, but I got the extra, which means if I just nail it in Macho, I'll save a bunch of time. Still kind of annoyed though about the collective like three, four seconds of time loss. Going on. 
up. There's the edge of town. Yeah, I, I don't get it. If you're referring to the strat I was talking about, I don't get it often. I don't know what my consistency with it is. It see it fluctuates quite a bit, but it's not high at all. It's like at most like like fucking like I think even even on good days it's like twenty percent. But on average pretty much like ten to fifteen percent. Well, sometimes it's even less than that, actually. There are times where I don't even see that strat for, like, multiple streams. Although, as of recent, I think I've been seeing it once per stream. Which is an improvement. Okay, thank you for the good luck and for stopping by. We'll see you around. Okay, never mind. Thank you for the good luck. So, lost two seconds in time, but lost like a second and a half in ring. And then I lost like seven, eight seconds in macho compared to like what I did. Really that is terrific. I'll still be saving time the split though. I should be anyway. 229, that's disgusting. Actually, it's a 223 equivalent, so that actually be... Did I actually even save anything? Hardly. I saved like four seconds. That's gotta be, like, the least I've saved from this trip. Thank you, movie gods, for blessing me with a four-second time save. I'll make sure to put it a good use, bro. Okay, I say more than I thought, actually. Hmm. I found one. I see. I don't really see how that adds up, cause like, I know I only saved like seven seconds in Macho. But then I lost time and time and ring, so then that should have lowered it to like three to four seconds of time save. I don't know how I saved six. So I'm pretty confused by that, but six seconds is more than four, so I will take it. Uh, no. Yeah. 
In terms of speed, like, the only thing that's different is the paddy wagon. On every version of the game, the paddy wagon has different speeds. You have to get so, like, GameCube ha has the fastest paddy, but PAL 360 has the slowest paddy. Um, as far as we're aware, no. Well. When it, like, there is something I wanted to investigate with that, with, like, regional versions, but if you're on the North American version anyway, then you'd be on the good one regardless. So it doesn't matter. Ranting about nonsense. I I wasn't even, yeah no I wasn't even ranting about nonsense. I was saying that the paddy wagons have different speeds in every version. That's that's actually what I said. I think I'm uh, breaking it as of the current moment. And making little mistakes that are annoying me. My reaction to the record was pretty neutral because it was a four second world record. So I didn't really care about it. Well, I don't really even have like pop offs much. I don't like have big reactions to like most of the times that I achieve. Because I'm not, like... I'm not even a very expressive person in the first place. I guess that's something that's, like, always bothered me about my- Because, like, 
You see a lot of people, they get like a one second PB and they're like laughing and they're just like, oh my god, chat, we did it, we did it, chat, with like a big, big smile on it. Like, I've never been like that, really. And it's like, kind of wish I was, because like, that, like, people like that have like a more general, like, positive outlook on life and they just get happy easily. It's like, that, that just sounds like a fucking perk, if anything. And just like good things. Like, just excite them more. That sounds good, but like... I got a 4 second PB in Hundo, and it was more like relief that I PB'd for the first time in a while, but other than that, it was just like, well... 4 second PB, and it could have been like infinitely better, but I got fucked at the end. So I didn't really care about it, other than like, the temporary relief. Oh my god, we did it, chat. 0. 0.2 second PB chat, let's freaking go. We freaking did it, guys. I'm so excited, I'm gonna run out of my chair. I'm gonna run around in circles. Like, I've like, almost never done that. Like, the number of, like, legitimate pop-offs I've had in this game, like, big pop-offs, probably, like, less than a dozen. Actually, eh, yeah, no, it's probably, like, a dozen. He be in, like, a billion, billion different times in categories. Baby Gronk rises up, Livy Dunn, right beside Kai Sinat, while he gets Phantom Taxed in the back of a Wendy's while Pitbull is there with a... Omega Gia in Ohio while he's Sigma Maxing. You know, I do watch a lot of Brain Rot TikToks. And then I have seen TikToks where they do just talk like that. Still rots my brain. Also, hello, Spongy. What's up? There was one where it was like. Like, please. You know, you know, like, uh, like pulling a guy over, and it was like, <laughs> are you edging under the. Oh, no, it, what was it? It was like, are you gooning under the edge fluence or something like that? And it was like. And, and then, like, he gives the officer his fucking license, and his name is Bay, middle initial B, Gronk. And, and I, like, I laughed at that for, like, a while. Like, a minute. Like, not like loud laughing, it was like, and I don't loud laugh that much, but like, I did have a couple tears, like, because I was already kind of laughing anyway. But like that, <laughs> like, just like the name being Baby Gronk is like so fucking stupid. Alright, thank you for the good luck, and good luck on your stream. Also, until, like, a lot of... But, and, until more time saves get found, like, I have no intentions of coming back to no pole storage. I might be able to send you less, but, like, if I remember, like, it's on my TikTok, like, it's on my like page somewhere. I can find it. Fortnite, no games. Fortnite. 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 That was a terrible weenie. However, I will make up for it with the world's greatest now that we're men. I had that same guy, by the way, who did the skit I just talked about. He does those memes where it's like Gen Alpha in nursing homes in 2080, and it's just like really funny shit. Like, it's like like the grandpa's like wearing like a VR headset, and it's like grandpa, what are you doing? And he's like, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm in the goon It's just like. Stupid. 
good. I think like the next big no pull storage thing to get found. To get to Hold on. Will be uh, SCDA floating block pull storage shit. That seems like. I mean, we've already technically proven it before, but like we were able to like move a platform in that level, so we know that we could theoretically move, it, or even the token itself. But at the very least, we can move. Um. Instagram. I can't even click on that. Is that a video? I can't watch it then until after rock slide like a boss. Clicking on something like after getting to the end of rock slide sucks because. Rock Slide doesn't have an end level cutscene as well, so it's like slightly less time to like watch something. Uh, bonus question Do Instagram videos like loop after they're done? Loop. I can see my rock from here! Okay. Because, like, in Album Man, I don't really have much of an opportunity to... If it was looping, that'd be super fucking annoying. How is that for you? I've seen that meme before. Like a couple years ago. Well, that's not even me. I haven't shiny hunted in a while. I don't think I'll ever be like permanently done with shiny hunting for like the, like, the rest of my life, but like. In the grand scheme of things, holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Are you fucking for real, man? Okay, I ledge grabbed. Like, I've been here three times, and that trick has been absolutely terrible all three times. Which did not happen in practice. Who could have seen that coming? Yeah, it's Chris. Well, like, Chris has like 500 interest. He'll stop shiny hunting in like five days from now. Wherever you are. 
finally Chris the Slow. I feel like the issue with like speedrunning is that you don't have a time for like any of the hobbies really. If you like speedrun a lot. I feel like when you speedrun you almost always have something, a second thing that you want to do and just can't. Because speedrunning takes up too much time. Or if you can pick up, if you can do a second thing, then those really are the only two like that. And then doing a third thing is like really unlikely. I need to practice the ball strat after this run. Ugh. I don't think my sp Ouch. I don't think my splits go uh, my time it goes gold when I finish a run, I'm pretty sure. Do they? I don't think it does. Fuck, why can't I remember? There's no way they go gold, surely. So I feel like I remember that such an aggressive color. Anyway, I missed the ball strat and carry one hand and miss spear boost, but. God, is this even worth continuing? I don't know how much I lost. Like, what is actually happening?
Like I don't I don't get it. Like Upsy Daisy. Uh, okay. Thing that doesn't happen in practice happens in run? Question mark? Stop giving up manliness, even in the corners. Was I too far away from the spawner? I think I was. But it didn't, well, it didn't look too far away to me, but I mean, I guess it was, probably. Unless I bash too early, actually, that could have happened. You have to, like, bash a little later than you would- Like, when you're learning this trick, you usually bash earlier than you should. That's, like, usually the key with, like, figuring it out. Alright, well, I mean, it seems to be working now, but it's a bit late for that. Um... This really needs to start working. I keep getting these, like, mid-ass runs into Nathua Men. And then they just instantly become plus because of the stupid trick. I need to get this shit like three times in a row, I think. The strat, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of cool. It's a good way to get manlies as well. I mean, there's a couple other better ways to get manlies, but this isn't a bad way. It's, like, kind of tricky, but, like, there's a bunch of setups for this trick that work. Like, you can literally do, like, like this, if I recall correctly. Was this something like, yeah, you can do that. I don't like that one. It's, it's slow and sometimes just doesn't work, but, like... There's also, like, this, I think? There's something to do with, like... I swear you can ball off this clam. I, I forget, like, what angle you can use. And there's also, like... Different camera angles you can use for it. Like, the way that I do it is that, like... When you... SpongeBob, like, moves a little bit while you're charging it up. So I'm trying to get the ball to, like get some momentum off, like, the side of the rock. Like, so I'm, like, kinda, like, at the edge of the rock, and then I bowl, and then I angle myself for it to actually bounce off the side of the rock. Um, you can also do this, but it's, uh, not worth it. Hold on. Well, I missed it. That's how you can tell it's not worth it. Like, the jump spacing is really hard, and is straight up slower than doing it with guitar in light game. Um, but yeah, the one that I would recommend is like this kind of angle, just hold forward and charge it full. But again, sometimes it just won't work, but then you just gotta slightly readjust the angle. But, it, you know, I'm trying to save time, so, yeah. Still not fully confident in that trick, but God, that trick sucks. Welcome.
Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The yeah, I've never really thought about it before, like... Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. They do sound like the same. I, I've never... I, I don't think I've ever thought of that before, because, like... It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. This is a job for... Okay, thank you for the good luck. To see what... Okay, so it is actually strip scene. I guess because they look so different, maybe, like, that's... Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that would. That uh, do be like that, though. Hey. Okay. okay, that makes more sense. I, I was wondering, like, how did I not pick up on that sooner? But yeah, like. That's subtle enough to where, and I do think them being visually different also matters. But yeah, for the most part, that would be the reason. Yeah. Little guy, big stink. I think I know which uh, what pot you're for. As a kid, I never knew that you're supposed to do that. I would always just try and like jump down to like the sock from the top of the castle. But anyway, yeah, like, I think if you let it raise too high, it can, you can get, like, stuck. Welcome. I think, yeah. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. You know, movie borrows, like, almost no sound effects of the battle, so I think it's kind of interesting that they kept, like, such a common sound, and that uh, I just never thought about it either. I guess that shows the effectiveness of just, like, slightly change, you know, just, again, changing the pitch, uh, well, increasing the volume rather than, like, changing the pitch. Like, why change something too much if, like, the small change just makes enough of a difference, you know? But yeah, like, again, there are hardly any sounds this game actually, like, Talk from battle which is bizarre. Like, there's like yeah, some things. Obviously, like ball sound, and like obviously there's more. I just yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It's weird that they changed SpongeBob and Patrick's jumping sounds. Because, like, most games would, like, not want to do that in case it, like, feels off to play because of that. Oh, like to wake up now. <laughs> but, like, I low-key prefer how they sound in this game. It sounds more SpongeBob in battle. Like, it makes more, like, the battle ones, like, make more sense. But, like, SpongeBob's jumping sounds is kind of, like, annoying. Well, not, I don't know if that's the right word. Like, well, with how often you jump, like, it's loud and a little annoying, like, after jumping so much. It's a lot more low-key in this game. It doesn't sound like Spongebob, which makes you wonder, like, why did they use it then if it doesn't sound like Spongebob? But just when you're jumping around a lot, like, you just kind of, like, you don't really think about the jump sound. Patrick's jump sound in battle is weird. It's, like, it's hard to describe what it is, I guess. Although it sounds a bit more Patrick-like than... The one used in this game. But that one kind of has the same thing of just being kind of like stands out too much, kind of loud, annoying. But like. If Sandy were in this game, they would have changed Sandy's sound effect too. I wonder what they would have changed it to. I don't even think I ever noticed as a kid that the jump sounds were different. So I was, I don't know, like a deaf child or something. Probably. I know, um, I mean, yeah, games sometimes do that, even with, like, the same, like, uh, Banjo did it. In Banjo-Tooie, they changed Banjo sounds, but not Kazooie's, and they kept a couple of Banjo sounds. Like, if Banjo's, like, falling off a ledge, like, from a great height, he still makes the same sound, for example. 
Um, but I, I'm, I prefer how Banjo sounds in Tui because he just, he sounds less stupid and goofy. But it's still weird to like go out of your way to change that and not like Kazooie. When you're using the talent trial like, as well, like SpongeBob. You you're going to mostly be hearing Kazooie anyway, not Banjo. Yeah, you're right, Zep. Like I've never thought about that before either, but like I'm thinking of the sound in my head, and I'm like, yeah, that that sounds right. What's I mean not what's up? Hello again, Mokan. I don't know if they make the same sound when they're exploding, but at least when you initially hit them, they make different sounds. I don't know about the explosion afterwards, though. You can get Patrick out of bounds and JF and Goolagoon and stuff. So much destruction. Well, I mean, I think that might be it, even. Because I don't think there's any out of bounds sand in Mimola. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not. Yeah, so I think it's just Goolagoon and JF. Cause I don't think there's any in Kelp either. That's probably why, like, a lot of people have never seen Patrick's, like, out of bounds sand thing. Because what normally happens when you play the game for the first time is, like, you see SpongeBob go out of bounds and he gets grabbed, and then you're like, oh, that's out of bounds. Okay, I just won't do that anymore. And then you just don't do it. And then, after early game, like, Patrick's not in a position to get out of bounds anyway. So you just don't think of it. I'm- I'm in sandwich driving, careful. I'm about to get out of it, as a matter of fact. SpongeBob single jump, fall, and land animation. I think sometimes devs are just like, you know, be cool, and then they do the thing. They're just like, I want to, so they do it. The only thing you've been skipping lately, careful, is the gym. Get a new membership, fatty. Purple's talking. Ain't no way you haven't released the mod yet. Bozo. Dumbass. You never learn past SCDA. You don't have a run to submit to the fucking leaderboard. Well, didn't you agree, Wilcon, that some of them are not worth, like, some changes are subjective? Ugh. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you don't have 49 changes to make then, smiley face. Well, general like we haven't used, uh, we haven't actually had like a vote in ages anyway. But you have not done an any percent run. Well, did you do it in one? Did you time it? A rolling sponge gathers no barnacles. In no major glitches. Fucking, when I was like, I brought it up earlier and I was like, I don't know about 109, but 110 should be doable. But you said 109, good, so I'm like, cool. So like, I guess box state doesn't actually save that much. And the token frames probably don't save as much as we thought, and also, I guess VMS also does not save as... Like... I'm kind of surprised then. Thank you, Wilcon. Funny, I left. Hopefully you upload that soon, Sky, because I want, I want to copy the route. <laughs> if it's like opposite, then wouldn't it be like any percent? 211, what the hell? Oh my god, no way. I made a vol volcanic valley on the fly. I'm not uploading this until god damn it. Alright, can you like send me your splits or, or like the route or fucking something, please? I just want to copy the route, is all I want. Paddy wagon is faster because the level scaling is massive. Like, people have put like five speed SpongeBob in this level, and you just like nowhere near as fast as the paddy wagon because of how massive these levels are compared to like Bob. Oh my. 
much destruction. Movie backwards was kind of cool. Um... The problem is that it's like not an Xbox, and also like I can't be asked with some of it. Can't be asked to learn like new route, new strats, fucking the can't be asked. So I still had PTSD from when I played that hack and it fucking... I was like three loads away from beating the game and I didn't infinite loaded. I'm pretty sure, like, I probably said that they patched Infinite Load before by, like, optimizing a file, and at first I was skeptical, but I've heard of no cases of Infinite Load in mashups, so I'm pretty sure they were right. I assume you're talking about, like, I went the wrong way, on your mod work on. Used iPies like fucking compress file thing, because that seems to work. Well yeah, but like like all the all the demo testers were on GameCube and there was no infinite load. Well yeah, compressed a 128 megabyte file to like 20 megabytes or something. And then apparently it has an infinite loaded. Wrong way. A new Alright, bro is willing to move jellyfish one pixel, but he's not willing to patch him from the load. Real, 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 real. I don't know, like, the process or whatever, but yeah, it's, I mean... Don't know what 
the music or whatever, I don't know, but yeah. That's probably because you did it wrong, Grib. It hurts me more than it hurts you, evil I would I found one. Well, I mean, if it works for iPi, then you probably did it wrong. Yeah, again, yeah, iPi optimized it a lot, so... I'd imagine it'd be nice to go to in this place. I mean, I probably, like, learned to do, like, how to do it, like, like, in vanilla, I believe. And then just applied it to mashup. You have to get... What do you mean by that? <laughs> like, what do you mean no mod should have to include it? Like, isn't it to like change warps and music and stuff though? Like, what if the mod is custom music? making excuses the bill collector is gonna collect his bills or something skull face crying emoji Thank you. 
Yeah, I, I do be no modding expert. Just uh, infinite low patch is pretty bussin'. Yeah, they would uh, be the expert in the field. Yeah, probably because the... Uh... Well, actually, I'd, yeah. Well, I mean, like, if the file is optimized to be small, then it doesn't matter if it's packed in with mods then, because you're not gonna be, like, crying over those, like, 20-something megabytes. So, like, get what I'm saying? Like twenty something megabytes is like actually nothing. The gates are locked. Yeah, I'm just saying, right, like, 20 million megabytes, like, that's not really gonna make an impact on the loads, and then... Or, like, the files, the total file size, and then... You get, like, a, a, a file that's easier to, like, fuck around with, and you catch it from the load. Like a boss. Workarounds for infinite loads.
Are you gonna compensate me if I infinite load in your mod, bro? Gonna get sued for negligence, and then you owe me like 40k. Why does that say 18? Fuck off. Patrick. Like, why does that say 18? To get to shelf. How the fu- no, 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 there's no way. I got- I swear I got the cartwheel buffer in 3k. Which means I- The only way that you can get the cartwheel buffer at the beginning of 3k floating block from BBBH Spongebob is if you get the token frame. And I don't remember ever missing the buffer, because that's something I would normally point out. Like, didn't get the cartwheel buffer at the beginning. If I didn't get it, I surely would have called that out. And I would have been like, that means I missed the token, and I, get, I need a reset. So why the fuck is it still here? Because I definitely got the cartwheel buffer. So why is the token here? Like... Like, we've already... Proven that, like, it doesn't work like that. You have to get the one frame to get the car wheel buffer. So why the fuck is the token here? Unless it makes no sense. Like, fucking defying, like, the way that the game functions. So that I can't PB. I do not understand. I think a warning message is good. Ironically, um... Obviously, this isn't a good thing. But... Like, when Clock had, like, no meaningful warps, you had no reason to, like... Warp anywhere. Which means he wouldn't infinite load. Adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Which is kind of funny. It's a short True. Slide from manager to, well, I'm still pretty damn manager. salty about uh, that Honda run that died to fake ring the other day, cause like, see what I got really lucky to like not get fake ringed for that long, but like throughout the entirety of like. Of a getting that streak, I'd set it every time. Prepared. It's going to happen on the God Run. I just like I. The reason why I was like barely affected when it happened was because like I already accepted ages ago, several weeks ago, that that would happen, and it did. Prepared. So like I was not surprised in the slightest. Yeah, I've, I've never tried, like, when it comes to non-full game mods, I don't think I've ever had save game enabled, I've just never tried. But, like, I either, like, don't need it, or, like, I mean, you know, save states if necessary, but, like...
Swapping costumes. Welcome. Yeah, we don't actually know, like, how Infinite Load works, but, like, we Never think that, like... We think that the game purposely waits a little bit to, like... Yep. It's, like, checking Adventure. that everything's, like, loaded in. And then it, it doesn't detect a file loading in, so it gets stuck or something. And it never, like, fixes itself. That's... I think that was, like, the theory that we had. But, obviously, we can't, like, actually prove that. Welcome. Well, I guess with the music thing, I guess that would prove, like... Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager... It, it most, it's most likely the music. It just fucking forgets the music or something, and then it can't load in. Because it's like, oh, where's the music? I can't find it. And it's like, it's right there, bro. But it, it can't find it. I th you know, I thought I was going to say OBS disconnected, but it did not. It was Windows Defender. How about you defend me from the ops? That stuff is really strange. I've, I've never thought about what would happen if you use save game. And even then, I wouldn't have expected, like, Dang. anything. Or, like, maybe a crash or something. Or, like, yeah, just anything like that. But I wouldn't have expected, like, ice physics or whatever. It was kind of interesting. I guess because the game's not, like, in a complete state. It might also be when it like loads into levels that aren't in the like you know like when you make a new folder specifically for your level like it doesn't like that for some reason welcome never fear good that's that's bottom, fair the manager... yeah most people just most people just have the mod just boot into the level immediately so you don't even think to auto save anyway but I I didn't check that, I don't think, when I played Clockwork, but that... that why did I say Clockwork? It's, it's Clock Dimension, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Welcome. That makes a lot of sense. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use autosave for uh, the mod if I. Just another day in the life of a manager. If for some reason I'm scared of a crash or something, I might like just save stay every now after every like token or something. But like I usually don't even think about it, so it should be fine. The only mod I've ever infinite loaded on actually was Movie Backwards. I'm pretty sure that was the only one. So like. I've ran into more, at, like, crashes and shit than I have. That. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, yeah. Because that shit can cause problems, so it's like, makes sense to just get rid of it. Spongy Babu cannot get up less slide. Bro, you really fell off. Bro, holy fuck. Fucking Jesus Christ. Well, Con, there's no way, like, your mod's not that long. Welcome. You're not gonna have, like, Pokemon Go users playing your mods, like, I uh, booted up for literally two minutes, do half a token, I uh, gotta save the game. 
You're worried about that, but you're not worried about infinite loads. Bro. Slide from manager to they could just fucking save a manager. state. Everybody's gonna be playing on Dolphin, you can just save a state. Uh. <sighs> Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Because you can save state anyway. It, it's generally better if you don't, because, like... If, if you don't, because... If you accidentally load a file that's from, like, an actual, like, copy of movie... Linked to your memory card, then that can cause problems in itself. Or if you accidentally save over an important file. Uh, save file. Just another day in the life but, like, of why? I don't know. Like, nobody. I don't think anybody really thinks about autosaves, so I don't really a think short slide from manager it matters. Is, well, not manager. Up to see what. A manager is always prepared. Like, I- when people test their mods, they probably, like, almost never test save game, is the thing. Manager coming through. What are we racked to need? I want to keep learning mash up, but like, after stream I'll have time to record some lines, so I should probably do that, but then when I, when my parents go to bed and I can't do lines anymore, I might as well edit, but like, I, I knew that if I spent too long off of editing, then I, I'd really struggle to get back into it, which like, it's, it's already happened, so like, I really don't want to edit. I was so used to, like, having all this free time, it's like... Eh. SpongeBob. Mm. 
Well, like, what if the move, like, has huge range in, in midair? So you have to, like, find a way to, like, stay close to the ground until you can get uh, close enough to attack him or something. And then if you kill him, you can finally, like, go up in the air and then you find, like, a secret trampoline that gives you, like, an extra or something. You know, like, incorporating it into the gameplay. Actually, that's true. I fucking hate doing that shit. All right. That makes more sense. I was thinking... the trick again. Hello, yes sir. Not much. I got like one, I, I had like one notable run and it died in Sunday too. Um, but yeah. That's, this is, that's, I mean, I've gotten like three or four runs to now the women. They've all sucked, but I still got them to now the women. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty alright. I'm doing okay. What about you? What was that bonk inside? It was like five bonk sounds back to back. Look out! Look out! If it okay, I assume if the moves are a case of it jumps from V one to V three, then V two is bound to be the Goofy Goopa variant. I didn't- I never noticed that was up. It's kind of funny, though. Welcome. It made the most sense, Wilcon. Like, if it only had rockets, for example, and then, like, the V3 one is both. Or it has less- like, it is the final one, but, like, maybe it's a laser isn't as long and it has less rockets. Yeah, just rockets, I think, is what it would be. It makes sense. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Struggling to quit the game. Well. 
welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just it's probably just seen as one manager. way to like stealth around them if needed like just one way to make them like a little easier i mean underneath the underneath of them like could be seen as a blind spot Finally, no eyelashes. Nobody ever see that, that's kind of like the thing that interests me about it is that like nobody ever points out like the lack of eyelashes. No one ever points it out, which is just like really strange. Like I never noticed for like ages. That's kind of baffling to me. I had no idea why they did that. Patrick didn't get fucked anyway on the uh, on the eyelash department. SpongeBob. Yeah, I feel like Patrick's. I don't think Patrick's are really, like a big deal. What's up, Trex? How's it going? Well, yeah, it makes me wonder, Zep, if it's like an accident, because why would they be programmed to close, but then, like, it's they're gone. So thank you for the good work. Appreciate it.
Yeah, no, they fucked a lot of things. I seriously, that's most likely what it is. There was an accident. There's the edge of Ohio Sigma. right now. Really? So there were like unique sliding animations for this game. I wonder if they, like, tried, didn't like any results, and then they were like, alright, fuck it, let's just use the battle ones, like, no one's gonna care anyway. Yeah, I, I they probably tried to make the effort, and then, like, just weren't happy with it, so they just, yeah. Very strange, though. They didn't have that long to make the game, that's just like a weird thing to want to, like, even, if, like, change from battle. It was like, you hardly slide in the game, like... Oh yeah, like, there's, there's the one in No Cheese. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. And then, like, there's the one in BBBH, but, like, you pretty much always use that as Patrick instead of Spongebob. There's two in BBBH, technically. Slides. But they both can be used by Patrick. And then there's the one slot and now the one men. And then, like, that's it. But there's also a three meter, but that's gonna be used by... Patrick. So yeah, so she just, like... Like a four second long t uh, slide and no cheese. And then, like, an eight to ten second long slide and now the one men. Finally, slides. Movie devs when they have like eight months to make the game. Ah, uh, well, you know, we could we could like pour all our resources into working on Goofy Goober platforming level, or we could work on some unique sliding animations for SpongeBob when he only uses slide twice. That sounds awesome. Let's do that. <laughs> And also, let's change, like, all the sound effects for some reason. Obviously, like, in game dev, you, like, in <coughs> you're not going to use all of your time efficiently. There's going to be some things that you conceptualize and then they aren't good enough and you got to scrap them. But, like, I'm just saying, if they did use their time as efficiently as possible and never let a file go to waste, I think they could have found enough time to make Goofy Goober platform level, maybe. 
Maybe. Or at least polish up, like, some levels. I mean, damn. Why is it, like, the easiest thing in the universe to get out of bounds and plank twice? They're both stupid easy. Short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Manager coming through. You see what? Why did I jump? Up to Daisy. No worries. I spell incorrectly on my keyboard like all the time, and it's really annoying. Sometimes, when I see that it's spelled wrong, I just have to try and let it, the word finish, because it'll usually, like, autocorrect it. If it went for autocorrect, like, every other word would be spelled wrong. Welcome. Probably iPie. Maybe they could have even been used in Goofy Goofy platforming level. The manager is here. Then there'd be three slides. Holy shit. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Okay, this is most likely not the case, but theoretically. Theoretically. It's a short slide from manager to well, What if uh in the manual the sliding is called sponge boarding because it was gonna be a SpongeBob exclusive thing? To see what and it would just be implied that Patrick was there for the ride. Boing. Manager coming through. Maybe that's why they put an effort into like the sliding <laughs> animations. Even because like it was gonna take up more of the gameplay. Cleanliness Which like is the sliding level's gone for ages, like that actually like makes sense. But like if that is the Manager. case, then that was a thing like extremely early in development. Because we have a bunch of, like, tub screenshots and footage. So, like, that shit was in early. But I still think it could be possible. Hey. Like, hell, maybe even the reason why they're in a very broken state is because they deleted a lot of the files, like, super early in. Because qu they quickly realized, like, oh, we don't need this shit. Wall jumping. Oh my god, that's true as fuck. There's, yeah, one in no cheese, and one in depression for the guitar challenge. There's like a decent amount of it in area one specifically of Nabla Men. And then there's like a chunk of it in Plank. But yeah, like, it could definitely. To be fair, it's a lot more included than the fucking. SpongeBob sliding stuff. It's a short slide from manager to well, not manager. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. To see what. Up to Daisy. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corner. Patrick riding SpongeBob. This is a job for a manager. Mm, maybe. A manager is always prepared. I can't say that the chances of that are zero, because they're definitely not zero. I could theoretically imagine that they met that they thought of that and then were like, oh that'd be a bit mean for Patrick to do. Let's this like not do that. But they still kept the name Spongeboarding because, like, that's just, like, the first thing that they decided on. So it's possible. <laughs> Hello, Arkham, and thank you very much for the fucking raid. How's it going? And also, hello everybody from the stream. Hi, hi, hi. Well, 
What's the good news? Yeah, bathtub is like a really random thing. It's really random. Because, like, the only way that it could make sense is, like, uh, it's dry in the desert, so they need to, like, be in, it's submerged in water the whole time. But that's kind of a stretch, because they already are in water. Like, that's... Like, you know what I mean? Heavy eye moment, yeah, it's true as fuck. Well, Funny. Never fear That's cool, Arkham. Congrats on your time, it sounds pretty goaded. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Job for a manager. Well, I mean, rubber dub like only makes sense in the context. But there's not three men in a tub. No, okay, no, no. I don't. I don't think that they base the model off the level name. I think they base the level name off the model. Because how, like, why would they think of that name? And, like, what could have caused them to think of that name if they weren't already planning on them being in a tub? Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Short slide from manager to well, not manager. I, I don't, I don't think that's the uh, scientific answer. Maybe also, I will say though, it is also possible that they were like, oh well, these sliding levels will behave manager similarly to the driving levels. And, you know, you have SpongeBob and Patrick in a fucking paddy wagon. Like, what, what else? Like, maybe they thought of other foods, but then maybe they were just like. Bathtub would be funny. You know? Manager coming through. Bathtub is like it's like the exact opposite of a fucking sandwich. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. You're a goofy goober, yeah. We're all goofy goobers, yeah. Goofy goober goober goober, yeah. I think it's fucking genius, by the way, to, like, have this really goofy fucking song about being a goofy gooba, and then repurposing, like, that beginning lyric for, like, the most epic song in the fucking movie and the game. Like... Re like, making it from the most goofy song to the most epic and intense is, like, actually, like is actually genius. Because you're taking the same lines that were originally, like, associated with just, like, some baby shit and making it go hard as actually, like, really, really good storytelling. 
citizens of Bikini Bottom, the manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Like, I, I feel like I've seen that very rarely where, like, lyrics are repurposed, like, later in, like, a game or a movie or whatever, and it's like... And they have a completely different meaning, but they're the same fucking lyrics. Like, and it still has that same energy of, like, it's okay to be a kid. They, bo they both do that, despite, like, feeling very different and making you feel very different ways. Like, it's like, when you hear that song for the first time, the original, like, the baby-fied one, it's like... Obvi oh, like, obviously, it's just like a funny, goofy song to, like, make fun of them being childish, but then it's like... The, the song is really fucking intense. And then, like... But it's still, they both still have the same message. And, like, that is... Fuck it, God. That's why the song is so good. I mean, it sounds good, but, like, that's that's the reason why it's so good. Because it's used for amazing storytelling, and just, like... Having it be, like, the last, like... I'm not counting Ocean Man, like, the last song in the movie as well. More movies need to do that. It's like, go to this fuck storytelling. 10 out of 10. <laughs> And also, yeah, like, even when the lyrics do change, like, it's still about being a kid, so it, it's, you know. Well, I mean, well, SpongeBob's like targeted mainly at kids, so I mean, wouldn't have to worry about that. Ocean Man is not the last song because it plays at the credits, which means that in the actual sense of the movie itself, it uh, doesn't play in the movie. It plays after the movie, so it's not like in the movie rev. I rest my case. Okay, but it, it transition like it's it's a transition to the credits, so it's like it basically plays during the credits. SpongeBob. Best day ever. That song is in the credits. I. Forget. That sounds right, I, th I think I just forgot about that. Yeah, I always thought that, like, the song was made for the episode, but they just, like, repurposed it. It's the best day ever. I remember that episode, yeah, it's like, Spongebob is gonna have the best day ever, so he, like, plans, like, all these activities with his friends, but they all have to bail on him for one reason or another. And then he goes to Squidward's fucking concert thing, but then he can't get in. And when he finally gets in, like, Squidward's concert's over, and then he just has a mental breakdown, and then they all just... And then they all recite the best day ever song with him, it's kinda nice, kinda nice. The only thing I don't like about it is how, like... Like, obviously, I expect Spongebob to be pissed off, but, like... Yeah, you know, he's just kind of, like, ruining the moment for Squidward after performing his concert, you know? Because he literally describes it as his special day, like, after Squidward's done the concert. It's like, kind of a weird thing to say. Well, my perfect day, I think, is what he says. 
but yeah, like, you're just kind of self-centered, but like, other than that, I think it's like, dead. There is something in my eye. Also, there's a dead run in my eye. I didn't know that they made, like, another one. Evil Spongebob be like, it's the worst day ever. The worst day of your life so far. That's an iconic line. I've seen it like used in memes. Simpsons movie, honestly, like not a bad movie overall in my opinion. But I just think that line's funny. Like this is the worst day of my life, and he's just like the worst day of your life so far. This is a dick thing to say, but it's like so true. Like like when you're only like ten, like yeah, it's just. But, yeah, definitely so far. It's just like, it's like a brutal joke, but it's like funny because like, well, it's in such like an, an enthusiastic tone, but it's like clearly depressing. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. Yeah, I have issues with both movies, like they have problems, but like they, they really are like in like the Spongebob movie in particular. This is a job for a manager. To see what It's like too short. Manager coming through. And I would have liked to have seen more from the bikini bottomites. But it's just really, really good outside of it. And uh, the Simpsons movie, like, I think if it ended there, I, I don't think that would have been a bad end. It's got some funny stuff, like some visually interesting parts, and like... Yeah, genuinely don't mind it. I think the dome idea is kind of interesting. Okay. Bro, I completely forgot about the Sandy movie. Ouch. Completely forgot about it. D has anybody been thinking about the Sandy movie recently? Because I certainly wasn't. Spider Pig? Bro, you could not get away from Spider Pig. I used to have a Spider Pig plush, I think, or something like that. I don't know what ha Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a plush. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I still have it. Yeah, there was a, a Sandy movie got leaked. Well, it was announced a while ago, but it got leaked, like, I think a while before it was supposed to come out. Um, the whole movie, you can just watch the whole movie on websites. Yeah. And apparently, I haven't watched it myself because I completely forgot about it. I have heard that it is very bad. At least, well, obviously, I had to 
get my opinions from uh, not my opinions, but I had to, I had to see the consensus on Twitter. And maybe it's just the people I follow, but no one said anything fucking positive about it. Not not a single positive thing was said about that movie on my feed. It was all just this movie fucking sucks, etc. Welcome. It's really bad. Why would they make a movie on Sandy and not on my Mr. Krabs or Squidward or whatever? Like, it focuses too much on SpongeBob partway through or something and just, yeah, all this stuff. I might watch it. I still kind of want to do uh, complete my project of watching every SpongeBob episode, like continue it from 2021. I'm thinking of continuing it. So if I did, then I'd also I'd have to watch the Sandy movie anyway. So it's like. Also, I think this will be the last run because it should be six hours now. I think. Manager coming through. A manager is always prepared. Six hours moments, true. Purple would never get a run to Sunday 2, this run. He would never. Clueless. Hey. I'd like to wake up now. Ouch! <laughs> jumping, jumper, jumper, woo! Yeah, I think the problem with, like, the Patrick Starr show is that, like, he's kind of... Okay, I actually thought it was close enough. I think the issue with the Patrick Starr show is that, like, Patrick is kind of meant... Like, obviously, he's been dumbed down, so he is basically comedy relief. But he works a lot better as, like, a complimentary to Spongebob or a foil to other characters rather than the main character because he's been changed into who he is today. Whereas Sandy, they, while they did make her just obsessed with science, at least she's like not fucking stupid. I feel like you could have a lot of episodes. I feel like you could have a lot of episodes where she invents something, but it goes wrong. And then she has to like save the day or whatever. I feel like there's at least more potential with that than like Patrick doing stupid fucking thing. Which, by the way, Spongebob's in, like, a lot of the episodes anyway. It's just Patrick's, like... It's like Spongebob... It's like a Spongebob episode if Patrick were in the episode more than normal. That's basically what it is. Like... I prefer cotton, thank you. So if she just, like, makes inventions and then, like, they go wrong, then that would, you know... You could get a lot more out of that, I feel like. Okay, I'm gonna go offline now. I should be live Thursday and Friday. And then Sunday. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.